So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, on the stream and on my YouTube channel, welcome to Mudrunner. This is my first look in. We've set up the steering wheel. I don't know how this is going to go because <laughs> it's feeling a little hokey so far, but let's do it. No, I want to play the game. All right, so we're gonna st we have the bog. We have let's see maps. Is this the only map we have? Choose maps. We have the bog, and this looks like volcano. So he said, "Hello, mom." Um, seashore crossing downhill. I'm wondering if I, like Deluge was already included in the game. Island looks like the map one. I'm wondering how many of these are actually, you know, full on maps. So, but let's go ahead and start playing. Um, we have a B31, a C35, and an a A469. Um, we have no mods installed. We have the Proving Grounds to start new game, casual. We're going to play hardcore, switch to hardcore. Uh, I only play hardcore, so, because I'm just awesome. Um, the 469, what do we got here? These are all locked, so we can't really change anything here. All right, let's do it. So let's go ahead and have some fun. I'm looking forward to driving with the, the um, joystick. We'll have to see how that works because it's <laughs> this is going to be different than I've ever done before. Um, all right, so we start with these two trucks unlocked already. Um, what else do we got? We have the Jeep. Okay, we're going to hop over to the Jeep. So how do I change vehicles? Is it the advanced menu is this, I think, right? Nope. Button zero, navigate interface. Nope. Okay, this change truck and we're gonna go over here um, I would say the graphics already I don't want to say they're they're better but they do look a little bit sharper um, what do you guys think I mean it looks different it definitely looks different um, everything is definitely bigger and sharper feeling uh, but it's not I don't know what do you think Seth what? check out the graphics what do you think kiddo same thing, same thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's looking pretty familiar. It looks sharper, though, but... What, Evelyn? Here, give me kisses. I love you. Okay, kiddo. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, <laughs> sweet! <laughs> uh, how do we get inside the truck? I can't remember what I put the camera angle button at. Oh, you know what I should do? Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to play around with the menu just a little bit because I want to... I've got some ideas. Advanced mode. Let's see. I want this to be advanced mode. Nope. Yep. Okay. Nope. Dag nabbit. Why does it think my gas pedal's always pressed? It's weird. Uh, navigational map. We're going to put um, the nav map here. And we're going to put the menu here. There we go. Okay, that makes more sense. So all my menus and stuff are in one place. Um, but where did I set the camera? There's that. Okay. And then there's my... Oh, yeah. 1080 compared to 720. My parking brake's on. Let's see if we can stall it first. I want to try it. Hang on. I'm not using the clutch, so it does not really simulate the clutch. And my steering wheel is inverted. Good night, kid. Invert. Turn wheels. There we go. Okay. Is my controls... Am I, is my clutch? Manual gearbox with clutch. Hmm. Oh, no, the engine's stalling. Yeah! That's hilarious. So you do have to use the clutch. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> love it. Well, with the gas pedal, it's cool because you can really back off the gas and not spin your wheels, you know. Oh, guys, I don't know. This is awesome. The in-cab view is, it's silly because it's like, you know, it looks like an Atari dashboard, but freaking yeah, awesome. All right, so let's see if I do this. There's my diff, let's see, diff lock. Oh, no, B-Dog's inviting me to play. He's going to be mad if I say no, but... <laughs> This is awesome. Oh my gosh. I love the in-cab view. What a difference. Now, I do have my foot to the ground. Let 
No, there's no way. I'm stuck on something. So let's see if we put the all-wheel drive on. Let's see what happens. Um, so this is all-wheel drive. Oh, whoa, okay, yeah, that was that was it. We were, we were just getting stuck, so... Okay, we need to look at the map before I go any further. All right, so, um, this is my map button. Okay, and that's my advanced menu. Okay, good. So, um, we are, uh, what we need to do is we need, let's see, watch point, log kiosk. We should probably unlock the trucks and the map. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, my night just got made too, dude. I'm serious. This is awesome. So we want to follow the road here and then here, up to here, and then here. Right, we're going to go there. We're going to unlock that and see what it needs. And then I'm going to go back out of the menu here. Boop. Nope, that's not what I want. This one. There we go. Oops. Okay, just need to figure out what's what. There we go. Okay, it's cool. All right, here we go. Now, I don't like the fact that my my um, interface is covering up the map. I'm probably going a little too fast for off-roading, but... <laughs> oh, this cab view just made it, dude. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, Mr. Micah, how you doing, buddy? Now, Mr. Micah got this game for Seth, so Seth gets to play it, too, uh, probably next week. Now, Mr. Micah, I'm hoping that you can join me tomorrow night, which is Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to be doing, hopefully, with B-Dog and you, Mr. Micah, and then also um, also with uh, um, Big Nasty, who bought the game for me. So, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I love it already. Just so different. I don't know. I, I've played the game so much on the outside, like from the outside of the truck, that I, this is just cool to be able to be inside. Now, the graphics are a little washed out because the truck is, you know, it's like muddy and stuff, but... <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> it wasn't so dang expensive. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back outside. How do I change views again? I'll put it in neutral. Um, let me figure out. There you go, Mr. Micah. Um, I'm going to see. How do, okay, this is the camera view. There we go. So we have the, the standard spin tires cameras that everybody hates. I don't mind them too much. You can look around with the, with the mouse. Oh, I was supposed to turn there. A little touchy. Now, one of the reasons why we do exploration with this truck is because it's it's um it's definitely better at you know getting around some of these tight spots when you're trying to find stuff. Oh man, well have fun, ha have fun, Dada. Be safe on the road, and and uh, we'll see you next time, buddy. Oh, Jeremy, you're kidding. <laughs> you said I could spare 30 bucks. <laughs> there you go. They didn't get it for PC, right? Cause it, I think the big thing to me is that this supports my G29. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> it just totally made the game. All right, let's see here. So here's the... This is Now, this is cool. So we have a K700 here. Uh, let's take a look and see what the status is here. So I'm going to put the truck in neutral and put the parking brake on and... Uh, Let's go ahead and jump into this truck here. Uh, can I turn this off? I guess it just shuts off automatically. Um, how do I switch trucks again? I have to remember. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go to uh, change truck. Boop. Oh, stop engine. There we go. And we're going to jump in over to... Uh, oh, no. You can't change trucks while the engine is stopped. That's really weird. Advanced change truck. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then we're going to see if we can grab this. Boop. There we go. So this guy has um, almost no fuel and a decent amount of damage. So it's going to need to be fixed up. But we can use this to load logs um, onto our trucks instead of having to use the stupid crane. This is much easier. So <laughs> There you go, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, you can see the damage there. It's painted on black. Some people don't like that, but I don't, I don't mind it. 
It is what it is. So let's go ahead and get back into the other truck. Advance, change truck, and we're going to hop in the A69. There we go. And let's go ahead and drive off. So let's go ahead and look at the map again. This time we're going to set our path for the next two trucks, which is just straight up the road here, so no big deal. And what do we have? We have a fire station. I don't think I'm going to be able to cross that river with this truck, so... Uh, we have a D535 up there. We'll start heading over and unlocking these points next. So, um, let's go ahead and go. And I think I might go back in the cab. Oh, the parking brake's on. I'm getting stuck on all these little sticks here. What different views do we have? Let's see, we got this. I love the way it really does a good job. No, you can't get out of the truck, right. Um, the game does a really good job yanking on the steering wheel when you start getting into the muck. Like, it's yanking me back and forth as I drive. I like that. Okay, there's that camera. And then back to the rear camera. We can zoom out with using the mouse. Let's see what's around us. So, for those of you guys that, yeah, it really does. I got to say, guys, it I don't want to say it looks better than the original spin tires, but it looks more substantial, I guess. I don't know. It does it does have a little bit of a different look to it. Um, though the graphics are still, I say, you know, the original spin tires is just so gorgeous. Should probably just stay in first gear here. So, I'm glad that they emulated a gearbox. I felt like... Um, you know, one of the problems that I was gonna, I thought I was going to run into this game was having this gear shifter and then just having this stupid, like, put it part way into it. Like, you guys saw how, like, I don't know if you watched some of the other guys playing it or, like, the old version of the game. They were, um, you know, putting it, like, in that kind of fake gear system that they made up for the game. But this is really cool because I'm actually really putting the car in gear and I feel like I'm driving a truck. And that, to me, completely makes this game worth it. Um, the fact that I can actually use my gearbox for it. So if you if you're doing this on PC, and you have, or even you know what, the PlayStation 4 has a G29. So uh, the Xbox has a G, has the uh, G920. So anybody that has a steering wheel set up with a clutch and shifter should be able to play it like this. I would imagine they support it. So like he just threw his hands up. Do you see that? <laughs> Look at this. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm freaking blown away, guys. I really am. I was expecting to be like, eh, it's all right. Oh, I'm blown away. All right, let's look at our map. <laughs> of course, I'm easily satisfied, so... But, uh, fuel station. Um, no, we're not going to go there with this. Uh, this truck's going to get stuck. So let's fly on back through here. Um, we're going to go back the way we came. Whoops. I didn't mean to rotate the map. How did I do that? There we go. Okay. Go back this way here. Set a rally point there. Um, and we'll stop off at the garage to get some gas. Uh, and then we'll continue on. So let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. Make a Yui. This is a pretty muddy um, course or whatever. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys. Uh oh, I'm maybe getting stuck in here. I don't remember what I set my winch to, but I think this is the horn. Those are my lights. Um, the winch is one of these buttons. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Now, I don't know. It seems like... Um, can I turn the diff lock off here? No, that's the all-wheel. Like, right, you could probably leave the diff lock on, actually. The, when you're using all-wheel drive, it takes a lot more gas per minute. So... Um, <laughs> there you go, George. <laughs> uh, and so we have... Uh, um, you, you wanna, if you want to kind of save on gas, keep it in in diff lock, but don't don't put the uh, all-wheel drive on unless you have to. This part of the road is much firmer. You can see, even just see from looking at it, it's it's pretty pretty firm, though there are some tire tracks through it, but...
Sweet! Alright, so now we're almost back to the garage again. I just, I'm, I'm telling you what, guys, this is going to make it, I'm going to be playing this game all over the all over the place again. I love this in the cab view. That really makes it like a whole new game. It's like the real joy of, of driving a, a truck off-road. Now, one of the things I heard that people don't like, and this is as far as I can look, you can't really look behind you. So, I guess, you know, that's kind of a bummer, but okay, I'm okay with that. Okay, we're going to get in the mug here. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I didn't stall. Almost. <laughs> All right, so let me click on my all wheel drive here. All right. And I might need to reverse the buttons that I'm using for all wheel drive because I have my top button is all wheel drive and the button below it is diff lock. And on the screen, they're opposite. So. Yeah, we're getting in the muck here. go we made it so we're gonna pause here real quick and I'm gonna change that control and let's see here so we're gonna go to controls and we're gonna say differential is gonna be this one yep and uh, all-wheel drive is gonna be this one there we go and back to the game there we go Jeremy, it'll load faster. It will not play better. Playing a game has to do with your video card and your CPU. Loading a game has to do with your hard drive. So um, the SSD will help you load faster, but it's not going to help you play faster, if that makes sense. Turn there, we'll drive off. Nope, I still need that all-wheel drive on. Um, did, I, did, I, did I get... No, I'm heading the right way. I was going to say, did I get lost? I don't remember all these logs across the road when we started, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. These logs make me crazy, though. They're, if you get stuck on them, it's... Ugh, just don't. <laughs> One of the things I like about being in the cab is you can get a better sense of the condition of the road ahead of you. So you can tell if the road is really bad or if it's not, you know, so, like, so squishy. Man, I feel like I missed something. Oh no, there's the there's the marker point up ahead. All right. So I feel like I can do a better job avoiding obstacles because I can see like where they are in the road according to the front of my truck, and I can go around them. Because I was you always get hung up on those stupid logs. Sorry, John's yelling in the background. Look at this. <laughs> John, knock it off, kid. Oh, tell him to let you in. Tell him that you're so cute, you need to be in there. <laughs> he said, Dad says to let me in. Now, I wish that you could just look around. Okay, there we go. I got it, so it does. There's our garage. So we'll pull in and get a little bit more fuel at the garage. So this first portion is going to be exploration. I always do it that way. I do all the exploring and unlocking first, so I can kind of see what trucks I have, what condition they're in, and then from there I make the decision on what uh, I'm going to do as far as the... Uh... Yep, and the owners of the original spin tires do get a loyalty discount. We're going to stop for a second here, and we should get refilled with gas. And yeah, maybe I'm not in far enough. This is all squishy. But yes, there's a 50% discount, so... <laughs> Quit fighting back there. Right, exactly. So now let's see if I turn... What do I do? How do I'm trying to see how do I get... Um, we go outside of the car again. Oh, there you go. So you have to get out of the car before you can refuel. So I'm now refueled. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any gas in my, my... The container on top of the car can hold 200 liters, it looks like. But I do have a repair kit in case I damage the truck. So let's get out of here. We'll head on to the next point. Oh, and I need to set that on my map, too. So let's... Pause for a second. Seth, this is incredible. Um, what is white noise? White what white noise is is um well in a in a not in a non technical term, um it's like just background noise like having a fan on or something like that. Like in an audio 
terminology, like for a sound system, people use white noise that has every single frequency that goes all the way from, you know, like really low frequency to really high frequency. Yeah. Sound guys use it to balance out stereo systems. They, they use a spectrographic analyzer and they can see which ones are too loud and which are soft and then they can go through the EQ and mix the, the, the soundboard accordingly. So that white noise actually serves a big purpose. Whoops, how did I do that? A fan would be an example of, of white noise, um, but not necessarily like wow, we're, how you're thinking about it. Somehow I jumped out of the A69, but there we go. I'm back in the truck. All right, so let's go ahead and get... Oh, park brakes on. What's the matter, Seth? No, but look, Seth. Um, watch this. Oh, <laughs> look at that, Sue. And it uses my gear shift and everything. I love it. We'll play outside for a little bit for you guys, for the sake of the viewing audience. But I really do like that feature. That's going to be a lot of fun. What makes me mad is I didn't get an advanced copy of this game. And I'm not mad at them, like, really. I, you know, it's not like I'm like, Arr! You know, Big Nasty bought this for me. I didn't even have to buy it. But I just, you know, it's like I'm one of the few guys that kept doing spin tires after everybody else had quit. And, like, when I watched... Um, it was either Daggerwind or Squirrel playing the game. They didn't. They had no idea what they were doing. Like they're like, well, let's just go. Like they had. They, it's like they never played the game before. And I'm like, man, I got skunked. I have over 600 hours in spin tires, and tons of videos. <laughs> yes. If you guys love it, come here and then you can give it to What? Well, I can't right now. I'm streaming, but you can get a kiss right here. Have yeah, one. I might have to go give my daughter a kiss because she's putting out the ultimatum that if I love her, I will go to her room and kiss her. So, <laughs> what's up, Lu Commander Llewellyn? What's going on? Tomorrow we're going to be doing spin tires again, uh, Mud Runner, um, and then we'll be doing World of Warships next week, Commander. So, I should probably switch the second gear when I'm rolling down the hill like this. I don't know, but. I have to go kiss my daughters, so give me a second here, guys. I'm going to pull over. I'm going to stop the recording, but the stream will continue, so I will be right back. For all you YouTubers, I am sorry. I totally forgot to hit the start button again. I gave my daughters a kiss. Uh, we've only gone a little bit down the road, maybe about five minutes, so we'll pick, we're picking up where we left off, but uh, maybe I'll try to pull some of that stuff from, from uh, Facebook. Okay, so where is the... Okay, yep, there's the watch point. Cool. Oh, yeah. Navigational map revealed. Okay, so now... Oh, forgot to push the clutch. Put it in reverse. Whoops. A little jumpy there. All right, back on the trail. Now let's take a look here and see the map. This garage is locked. We'll have to unlock that. Once again... I have a method to my madness. I always do the locks. So for those of you that were on YouTube, well, you missed a bunch. I did drive all the way up here. I'm sorry, guys. But it's been mostly night, so we're just been doing some in-the-cab driving. Uh, I apologize for that. We will, um, believe me, you'll get plenty more content on here. So uh, we need to find this watch point. I'm trying to see the best. This is a hard part, and I remember this from... Um, you said don't have too much fun. I remember this from uh, the other time I played this. It's hard to get to this watch point, but we'll have to kind of try to navigate our way through. So let's swing by the garage, go up here. Doesn't look like there's any trucks hidden in here, but there might be. I don't know if they reveal trucks like they used to. If it's in a hidden watch point area, I don't know. So let's go ahead and see if we can get there. Um, it's 2.40 in the morning, according to the game. So let's go ahead and turn the map off, and off we go. There's the garage up ahead. Welcome new, welcome new follower. Um, I don't know if it'll pop your name up or not, but I'll see it in a minute and I'll give you a shout out. Pie Wackets, welcome aboard, Pie Wackets. Glad to have you following on my channel. Uh, yeah, this is this is looking really good, guys. <laughs> so. Right away, I'm going to tell you, if you got a G29 or a G920, 
and a you know PlayStation PC or whatever. This is awesome. It makes it so much more. It, it makes it so so much nicer to have the uh, the gearbox to be able to shift gears and not have to put it in that stupid like low gear thing that isn't realistic. This is really cool to be able to have a real gearbox with a clutch and stuff. You burned it up through the doors. <laughs> Here's some good news. We found a fuel station. That's good. So what we do is we're going to stop here in the fuel station, and uh, then I'm going to go to the outside view, and that'll refuel me. Refuel me. And I'm also going to fill up my my uh, up on top of the the truck. You have this, you know, um, uh, package that you can you know fill up with fuel. So now I've got 80 extra liters in case I get lost. So let's go ahead and see if we can find that waypoint. So we made it past the garage and the fuel station. Um, try not to break the windshield. The good news is we've been playing for, what, almost an hour now, and I haven't broken anything? <laughs> the truck remains undamaged. <laughs> uh, and usually, I'm, with this truck, I'm usually pretty good about not breaking it. Sometimes, if I try to squeeze through the trees, I'll break some of the, you know, the, like the windows and stuff like that. But in general, the truck stays in pretty good shape. Um, Okay, so something just shifted, and I have to turn right here. Uh, where's the through? Um, this must be where I was marking it. Oh, man. See, here's what I was talking about. Here's some parts where we're going to have to really squeeze through. Let me reverse and see if I missed the turnoff. So I feel like this is that's there's no way I'm getting through that. Um, let's look at the map real quick. Um, you. Okay, yeah, I did. So it's back, it's back here a little bit. Oh, neutral. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, is there a through here? Maybe. Yeah, that looks like I can get through there. So we're going to work our way up here. Ta da! There's our through. Unfortunately, the ground is littered with knocked down trees. That's going to make our life a little bit difficult. Um, we're going to make a left here. Try to get back on course. Uh, come on, turn. All right, there we go. And we're going to have to go into the drink here, so not to... Uh, oh, man. <laughs> All right, brakes. Uh, we're going to go slow here. Oh, too too steep, too steep. i got to back up. Oh, man, I don't want to dump it. All right, okay. Wow, that was really... That was quite an angle there. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go, man. I'm probably gonna damage the truck a little bit going in here, but I'm just gonna go nice and slow. Oh, oh man. Oh, it's really deep. Oh no. Okay. Come on, pull out, pull out. Come on. Oh man, it's really deep. It's okay because I have the, the points to fix the truck, but I don't want to have to abandon the truck. Okay, that ain't gonna work. We can't go this way. Let me think about this. Um, okay, we need to take a look real quick at the outside of the truck and see what we did. 67 damage. We can fix that real quick. Um, put the parking brake on. Get the advanced menu up, and we're going to repair the truck. And then we're going to exit advanced mode. <laughs> it, went, it went right up, man. There was no, There was no stepping up into that water, man. We were in the water. We were in the drink right there. Um, we need to get over there. There's really no way around. I, I don't see... Hang on, let me, turn, let me turn the headlights off so I can see better. Um, that's this button. I mean, yeah, you can't really get over there. We're going to have to try to creep along the edge. Maybe up through here. All right, let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right, changing my camera back to the inside view. Parking brake's still on. Oops, hang on, i got to find that button. There we go. We're going to go this way. Sun's coming back up. Yeah, yeah definitely. You wouldn't be able to tell, yeah. Oh, clutch. Sorry. I let go. I let the truck stop without putting my foot on the clutch. Oh, man. Mm. No. I'm tipping. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. We'll start? Okay, we're starting. 
Okay. Um, 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 um. Oh, okay. No, shut it off. Shut it off. Uh, how do I turn it off? Oh, no. I can't turn it off. It's going to break. No, not the map. <laughs> I don't know the controls well enough. Uh... Well, we got pretty far before we blew the truck up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm stuck now. I'm going to have to. So the <laughs> The next thing that we're going to have to do, we'll have to rescue the truck and we'll, and we'll pull it out. And I'm going to have to maybe this route to the south. I don't think you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's, there's a route to the south that we can try. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the garage. Now that we know how to get here, uh, I'm going to grab a different truck. Let's see. Let me just jump into this one here. What does this guy have? I, I want a truck that can do. Let's see. Is this is this all-wheel drive? I don't know enough about these trucks because these, some of these are new. So, hey, thank you for the subscription, Kelbit Brown. Is this three months in a row? Yes. Well, Jeremy, you can't use the winch unless the engine's running. But because the truck was underwater, I can't. I'm stuck now. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this truck. We're going to put um, the trailer hitch, and we're going to put a garage attachment on it. Garage. Tra let's see, semi trailer, four points. Perfect. Take a look here, and just so you guys can see it from the front, um, this is the truck with the semi. We're gonna drag this trailer, um, and so let's see. We got that. What else can we put on the truck? Though, is there anything fireproof exhaust? Yeah, sure. That doesn't really do anything for us, but um, it's cool to see it. The fireproof exhaust in the forest, they really would use that because they don't want the like the you don't they don't want you sparking the ground and actually catching the stuff on to fire. Okay, so we got a spare tire, 120 points. Um, so there's our cool truck. I don't know how many how many wheel drive this is, but this will open up the garage. Then we can use this truck to drive over to our car and save it. So let's go ahead to the map. I'm going to be freaking playing this all night. You guys are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I got a photo shoot tomorrow at 11. I need to get I need to get to bed at at least 1:30 tonight. So. I don't know. I, I'd like to have a little downtime, but man, this is... I'm going to be junking out on this game for weeks, dude. This is incredible. Oh, all right, so we're going to try to get through here, and there, here, and there. Now, the challenge with the truck is not tipping over, so we'll drive for a little bit outside the truck since we've been driving a lot in the cab. But I might want to um, at least do a little bit of in-cab view when we first start just to kind of see what... Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, let's see. So go ahead and start her up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a diff lock. Now, the diff lock will make it so that I can't turn as well, so maybe I'll turn that off for a little bit. We'll see if we can, how far we can get without having to do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's so funny, George. <laughs> I don't want you to get in trouble at your job, though. All right, come on, baby. Sounds like I'm crushing stuff. Uh-oh. His arms are glitching, though. That's a bug. <laughs> no mirrors. Can't really see what's going on with the trailer, but that's all right. I don't... I'm not... It's all about what's on the road ahead, isn't it? We're, we're slipping. You can see that. Look at the gauge going. You can see the wheels are slipping. Yeah, I need new carpets. My carpets are just done. So let's go ahead and stop. In real life, you'd have to stop to put the diff locks on. See if we can get any traction here. We might just need to go to all-wheel drive. The downside is these trucks really suck gas. Um, so we might run out of gas before we get there. Then we're going to be doing a saving run for this truck. Yeah, we just need all-wheel drive. Now, I don't know if this truck is four-wheel drive or six-wheel drive. Um, it might only have, like, four-wheel drive in the back. Let's go ahead and hop outside and see what's happening with our wheels. No, it looks like it's, it looks like it's pulling. The front wheels are slipping separately. But I have the diff lock on, so that shouldn't be happening, actually. That To me, that looks like a bug. My, uh, that, that uh, wheel should not be slipping separately. I've got the diff locks on. So maybe it's all-wheel drive up front and diff locked in the back. That could be what's going on there. Look at that thing. Yeah. What a beast. 
<laughs> this is a cool new trailer they gave us for the garage parts. I really like that. That's pretty cool. Very different than it used to be. It was kind of like an almost like an on-road trailer before. Now it's a shipping container in a off-road uh, trailer housing. Wouldn't it be fun to build an RC one of these? I've seen a couple guys do it. Um, th this would be a really cool RC truck to build. You're probably looking at, you know, a thousand dollars or more and stuff to put it together though, but that would be a really cool truck. I know one company makes a six-wheel drive truck, so it would be kind of cool to take that and then like take the wheels off and put like more scale wheels on it and stuff. I'm conquering the wilderness. Yes. <laughs> it's nice, too, because this tr the other trailer that you used to have had, like, road tires. This one has off-road tires, so that's pretty cool. I'm just burning through gas like there's no tomorrow. Come on, man. Make this corner. Ugh. Oh. There we go. Most impressive. <laughs> like, yeah, I was watching one YouTuber do it, and he kept turning the diff locks and all-wheel drive on and off. And I'm just like, you know what, dude? Sometimes it's just easier to leave them on unless you have to turn them off. Because, yeah, the sounds are great. I really like the way that when I went past that bush in the other truck, you could hear it brushing against the side of the truck. That's Stuff like that is really neat, you know? Those are the kind of details that stick out. Look at the water washing the tires off. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> it's so sweet. Now, this truck's not having any problem pulling this trailer. I was afraid it was going to get bogged down, but we're not. We're really not having any issues at all. There we go. Straight ahead. Look at that. Oh, man. So I don't want to say that the graphics are better in this game. I think they've taken some of the cartoony stuff out a little bit, but it still has the same feel to it. Um, to my eye, things look sharper, but i got to be honest with you, I mostly play this on my laptop. So uh, now I'm playing on a giant TV, and so it's like things are just going to look better because they're huge. And, uh, whoa, 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 okay, don't get going too fast. Let me keep my foot on the clutch. All right, there's that. I kind of screwed that up. We're going around that. Go! Oh, hold on. Something just happened. Oh, thanks. My G-Force drivers had to tell me. Oh, and it crashed. No! No! Oh, it crashed. Freaking NVIDIA and their G-Force driver updates. Dang it. I <laughs> can't believe that just freaking happened. Uh, that sucks. Unable to, unable to load save data. Great. <laughs> and, of course, you guys can't see it anymore because it freaking crashed. Well, there we go, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, let's try a different map. <laughs> that was from NVIDIA. Thank you, NVIDIA, for crashing my experience. I appreciate that. All right. Let's see. Oh, no, the bog. Okay, let's see where we left off. Nope, it's, it's busted. You said cool game. <laughs> Shizzle sticks. Look how far I was, too. It knows where I was at. All right, have a good night, Commander Llewellyn. All right, man, so here we go. Let's go ahead and pick a different map. We'll take a look at the island. No, this is Volcano. You know, I'm going to, well, I know. What do you guys want to do? What should we do here? 
Um, should we should we see some of the challenges maybe or take a look? I don't know. That makes me sad. I don't want to start all over again, but but I don't. I really don't. The challenges don't really excite me. <laughs> Let's see, manage mods, proving ground. Um, dang it. Uh, we'll just do the bog again. I don't know. I want to get this done. Frick. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> the downside is we can't really do it faster. <laughs> All right, what do we want to do this time? Go crazy on the bog. Oh, I'm just thinking maybe I should go to bed at midnight. So we'll play for a little bit longer, but that sucks because we were pretty far advanced into it. All right, well, this time we're not going to unlock those trucks. We know what they ha we have now. We'll unlock them later. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the, those points unlocked. So I'm going to switch over to, well, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and finish what we were doing. I need to put on the trailer hitch. Um. The crash was caused by an NVIDIA update. NVIDIA decided to interrupt my game and tell me that there was an updated driver. Thanks. Didn't really even know, need to know that, but they decided for some reason I did. And that caused it, that caused the game to crash. So let's start over again. We're going to unlock the garage. Um, and then we'll, we'll unlock the map. Mud, mud, mud. Turn the parking brake off. And... Uh, Oh, there's a camera button, too. Interesting. I double assigned the button. Launch. Wait, why did it... What got damaged? What? That was weird. Oh, you got an... They're probably updating for this game, actually, but... All right, diff locks, all-wheel drive, forget it. Um, I need to change my camera view so I can see where I'm going. Oh, there we go. I was completely driving off the road. So off we go. That was sad, but what are you going to do? Bummer. <laughs> well, for those of you that missed the last time I went up that road, you guys will be able to see it now on YouTube. Uh, we'll drive outside of the cab because it's daytime. This is really sloppy right here. How are you doing, Steve-O? It's good to see you tonight. How are things in the UK? Hopefully as good as they are here. What a bummer. <laughs> well, I'll update the drivers later, but I... Didn't, really didn't want my game to crash, so. You can save mid-game. The only reason why it didn't save was because the game crashed. So. Oh, it's wet there, huh, steve -O? Yeah, it was kind of a soggy day here, too. My room's like a million degrees, though. I have the my window open. I have the house set to 67, and it's freaking hot in this room. The rest of the house is cold. We're just going to continue around to that big steep corner. I kind of know my way there now because I've been up that road. I've been down this road before. <laughs> Here I go again on my own. Going down the only road I've ever known. So, so far I'm loving it. Like I said, the gearbox really does make a difference, though most of the time you're in first gear. It depends on the map. Some of these maps have roads and you'll be able to shift gears, but... I really like the fact that I'm able to shift gears and go around and all that good stuff. So, But yes, you can save mid-game. If you exit the game, it'll just save. But if you crash the game, well, then you're screwed. Skunked. Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Nazis and more Nazis. Big Nasty is messaging me. I'll have to see what he says. I think he said he can't play tomorrow night, so we might have an opening. 
Right now it's B-Dog and Micah, and maybe if Big Nasty can't do it, then whoever else wants to do it. Hey, Mark, come check out the new spin tires, bud. No, come here. Look at this, though. Check this out, Mark. Wait, what? Now. Uh, yeah, it, well, it, yeah, you're right. It, does, it doesn't really auto-save. It just saves when you exit. So, yeah, crashes are not... Uh, it looked like it tried to save, though, but it couldn't. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Look at that mud. So this is about where we crashed, I think, right around here. See how fast we travel? But man, this thing's sucking gas. Come on, baby. Back into first. I shifted gears there going down the hill. <laughs> Little fancy footwork. Here's the question. Can you shift from first to second without using the, the clutch? Oh, lordy. No, you can't. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, they got mad at me for that. Wow. Good. That's cool. Good for them. That's how it should be done. Hey Mark. It's got it's got full clutch support. <laughs> I'm trying to get Mark. Mark just got home from work and hanging out with his friends. I'm trying to get him in here to see it. Switch it back down to first. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I, it's really hard to test it in the mud. You'd have to be rolling on a road pretty good <laughs> for the rev matching. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, frick yeah. Come on, baby. So I don't think, I think the front wheels are all-wheel drive, but I don't think that they're diff-locked. I think just the back wheels are diff-locked. Because you can see how that front wheel is not spinning at the same speed, but this side's spinning. So the, the front is not getting locked, but the back ones are. Don't tip. Come on, baby. So I've used about a quarter tank so far, and we're almost there. So that's, I think we'll be fine. That's about as fast as we can go right here. It's really boggy. As long as those front wheels are going it. Yeah, definitely. That it's But I know what you're saying. The, the, you know and the, the farm sim pedal worked really well with the a ATS too. It was good. For simple shifting, like for the like a pattern shifting. So it's got it's got full clutch support. So you can use the stick shifter and everything. Oh, nice. And then it's got watch this. What do you think about that? Look. <laughs> Spin tires, the new one. Well, yeah, we were we're all making fun of the Atari. It we're, the, the, it really pulls you though with the steering wheel and stuff like it. Whichever way it's going, it pulls you. One view to make nine hundred views, right? <laughs> Watch that. So what? Really? So you like them that much? Okay, I need to look at the map. Hang on a second, guys. I almost, I almost stalled it. Let's see. Look, look at the map. Oh, we know we got a ways to go. Um, let me see here. Um, turn the map off. I want to see where I can't. Let's see if I look in the truck. In the truck view, which way should I, I'm trying to figure out which way I need to go. 
Hold on, I'm still kind of learning the controls, so. <laughs> Do I go to the right? Yeah, go to the, or left. I think I'm gonna go to the right. This is the downside of a. Uh... Oh, I see what you're saying. One more view to make 900 views. There you go. Oh lordy. Oh man. Oh no, I'm getting bogged in. Okay, let's see if we can get it to go in reverse. I don't think I can go that way. I think I need to go to the left here. Whoa. No, this isn't going to lead the right way, is it? No, nope, that's not going to lead the right way. Shoot. Uh, you said winch time. What, buddy? Hang on. Not really. By the way. By the way. What? Oh gosh, Mark, you spent, you're buying more stuff? I thought you needed to be saving your money for your apartment. You need a rapier. <laughs> for what? Everyone needs a rapier, right? I have a long sword. Rapier's next, and the saber's next after this. This is not looking good. Oh, come on, let's get, let's go, come on. I wish I could see the other side better. If yeah, that's the way we need to go, though, but this, I, uh, okay, we'll make it. Uh, see, the front wheels aren't pulling. I think you're right. I might have to use the winch. Let me try to get it one more time without using the winch, but... Nope, we're stuck. So we're going to have to... I'm going to try to pull it out using a tree. What's this, Mark? Mark, that's terrible. Okay, so we're gonna let's see. We're gonna get our um, so we're gonna scare all the, the woodpeckers away. Um, how do I get the winch out? Let's see here. So I haven't done this before. It's gonna be this button, and we're gonna attach the. Oh, I gotta take my foot off the. No, no, no. Okay, take my foot off the clutch. There we go. This is the only problem that I'm having with the controller, though. If you touch anything while you're doing it, it gets all weird. So we're gonna grab the winch, and we're gonna do this. This tree right here, huh? That is true. No shame. Okay, so. I gotta find which button I put the winch to. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, and it, it made sense to me that the button I used. Alright, so. Uh, don't tip me over, though. Let's see, I need a better camera view. Nope, I don't want that. I want. Oh, man, we are really. <laughs> really? Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. If we can't grab a different tree now, let's see. Uh, advanced. Attach. And we're gonna say winch. Advanced. Change winch. Or attach winch. Yeah. Come here, winch. Turn off the advanced. Letting the winch pull. Take it out of advanced. There we go. When you have, when you, when you, if you don't go, if you're in advanced, the parking brake is on. So, all right. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this off now and see if we can't push our way through. Come on, baby. Ugh. I want to get back down into the bog, actually. Because I'm kind of in a precarious position here, but we might be far enough forward that I can um, back now and get my wheels down. I want the truck to be level is really what I want. There we go. Okay, this might work. There we go. That should work. Okay. Winch or witch? Well, in about four, about uh, ten minutes here, it could be a witch. Because <laughs> it's almost Halloween! That Redman Boy Mud Runner! I gotta tell you, that Re Redman Boy, I was expecting this not to be any big difference, and I was gonna be like, eh, it's alright. And I am astounded at how great this game is so far. Just the support of the G29 in itself makes it so much better. Though maybe the other one supported it, and I just didn't know it. 
but I'm already having a lot more fun, so. Yeah, you guys need to go to bed. John, it's time for bed, kiddo. Get your butt in bed. I'm way over revving. I need to watch it. Look at all the gas. I'm running out of gas. I'm almost there, though. Oh, no. Don't get stuck. Oh. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, come on. Rock the wheels. See if we can get it out. Oh. It's, yeah, I mean, parts of it are. I don't know if it's... If it's to me, personally, I don't really see a huge difference in the graphics, because I thought the other game was amazingly beautiful. But it is is—it is really good looking. Come on! Pull! Pull! Darn it! No, nope, we gotta get, we have to winch. <laughs> Coming out of these bogs, it's a little bit uh, dodgy. Good night, Evelyn. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. Okay, I'll see you guys in the morning, probably. I know. I have to get up. Make sure I'm in neutral before I take my foot off the clutch. And we're going to put it in advanced. Attach the winch again. The magic winch. What time do you need to wake up at 9? Um, I need to wake up at 9, yes. I have to leave I have to leave at 10. Seriously? Thankfully, it's in Medina. The first, my first stop's in Medina. Well, I must be really... I'm really wedged on something. Yeah. Crapazoids. What am I stuck on? I must be stuck on a branch or something. There's something wedging my truck, so I'm gonna. Whoops! No, that's not. No, no, no! Take that off. There we go. I need to back up and try a different route. Let's just go to the right a little bit here. <laughs> 255, right? No, this truck's good. This is good. We're good. We got this. I'm gonna get stuck on that tree, though. Come on, baby. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna run out of gas before I get there, guys. I gotta be honest with you. Yeah, I just saw that, yeah. Yes, he did. This, this is gonna be a problem. We might make it to the garage. We might make it. I'm, it's, it's looking... It's, it's looking slimmer and slimmer, our chances. We've got a long way to go. <laughs> Let's see if we can start conserving fuel. Take it off the all-wheel drive. We'll leave the diff locks on. And we'll just use the all-wheel drive in the water if we can. That cuts our fuel economy in half. Okay, so I should have paid attention better to the fuel economy. I'm learning that now. Okay, now we're going to need the all-wheel drive again, though. Nope, that rock's got me. There we go. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, you big truck. Come on, you big Russian truck. Yeah. There you go. Sucking down that gas. It's all we got left. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Don't stall. <laughs> okay, we made it. All right, so I'm going to put the all-wheel drive back off. I was getting the diff lock warning there. I don't know, man. What's up, Soup? Seems like it might be a little bit more top-heavy, but not really. You know, the other game, it was really easy to flip over. As soon as you put some logs on this truck, it's going to be really top-heavy. Get to bed, kid. Seth, can you fix my, my bed, please? Oh, you're the man. All right, we're almost there, I think. We're heading north, so that's good. that's good news. It's good information there. We should see the garage pretty soon. Uh, oh, crud. Which way are we going? Let's take a look at the map. Yep, we're doing good. Okay, so we're going to go left and then straight. Oh, we're almost there. 
Oh, man, it's so far. Oh. <laughs> Crap, I need... There you go. I love the cab view. But I think for the viewers, I need to be outside. Um, I really liked it in the Jeep when we were exploring. That was a lot of fun to do the cab view. And at nighttime, it's wonderful. For this truck, it might actually be easier to be in the cab view because I can only see the trailer half the time. Let's go back in the cab. It's a little hard to see the road ahead of you in this truck because the, the nose is so high. Sadly, though, the game crashed. I had a lot of this map unlocked. And now i got to do it all over again. Life will go on. Life can be a dream. Yes, Seth. What did you say, kid? Um, tomorrow night after everything's done because i got a million things to do tomorrow. Are you sad? No. No. <laughs> I don't know if the modders can make mirrors. <laughs> That's. I think they can only really make trucks. I don't know that the mirrors will actually work, but maybe they can. I don't know. I'm stuck on something. Hang on. Whoops! Don't do that. Let's see here. We'll have to. We'll have to see. I don't know if they'll be able to do that or not. What did I get stuck on? Uh, camera change, please. Really? There's nothing here. Did I just? But did I bottom out? Did I put my feet down? I always do that. Uh, I'm going to the advanced menu. Detached trailer. Nope. Oh, well, that's. I think I just bottomed out. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to try to winch something, I guess. Um, man, I think I'm gonna run out of gas. Shizzle sticks. Um, all right, so advanced. Attach winch. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Gas is getting so low. If we stop, if we run out, we'll have to get the other truck and get bring that truck up too. And get. Oh, my fault. Oops. Tip it. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so muddy. Crap. I'm, I'm, oh, oh. <laughs> Don't stall. Oh no! Now the when the night closes in. We have to winch it again. All right, so here's the advance button. Attach the winch. Kelgon, winch me away. All right, so we're going to turn the advanced menu off. Is it off? This portion of the track has been very difficult to get through. Okay, we need to turn this off. Come on, can we get going? Okay. Oh! Yeah, I'm excited to see the mods, especially if the game gets super popular, which it kind of already is. You know, Spin Tires <gasps> was around forever. I forgot about the bridge. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, I can't really see where it's at. Oh. Uh, what, what's that? Yeah, it does. It gets, it gets delayed. So they can't hear what we're saying until this video reaches what we're saying? Yeah, I hope it's not going to be. <laughs> there should be new stuff, I would imagine. I don't think it's going to be just port overs, but I know what you're saying. Like, oh man, it could be just like. Oh, baby, come on. Come on, truck. We got just a little ways to go. This trailer is heavy, so that's, that's part of what's causing the problem. I'm, I'm bogging down, so. <laughs> Staying over to the side of the road where I can get some grip. Oh man, quarter, t like eighth of a tank. Got like two minutes of gas left. <laughs> Come on. Oh lordy. <laughs> I 
We're so close. Oh, I can taste it. Well, we've had this happen before, haven't we, guys? And spin tires, I've definitely run out of gas. Like in that last couple seconds when you need it the most. Just when you needed it the most, I was miles away. Is that Winger? Who's that? I think it's Winger. <laughs> Just when I needed you most, you were miles away. Might not be. It might be somebody else. Might be the darn Yankees. Those darn Yankees. I can see the garage. I see the see that flat line up ahead. I'm pretty sure that's the garage. Oh, come on. Wait, what did that say? Okay, hang on. Uh, was that it to the right? Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, hang on. I need to look at the map. I need to look at the map. Oh, no, it's straight ahead. Okay, we're almost there. Look how much gas I got left, Seth. Ah! <laughs> there it is. There's the lights. I can see the light. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you said winch all the way. Well, see, once again, you can't winch unless the engine's running. So if you run out of gas, um, though I see what you're saying, you you might be able to do it because you don't use as much gas when you're using the winch. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, so far this game has definitely been a struggle, but I love it. I'm in love. This is awesome. It's like Spin Tires Reborn. And it's better. And this makes it really cool. The, the in-cab view really is top-notch. Oh, no. You can hear it starting to stall. It's clattering. Oh. No. No, no. Come on. No. The motor's starting to putz out, Seth. <laughs> if I could just get here. Okay. All right. Now I gotta get out of this view, and I should be able to do it now. Uh, let's see. Yep. Unload. Yes. Yeah! I did it. I got my fuel back. Okay. So <laughs> we made it. Oh, maybe the next step. Let's go ahead and take. Uh, our semi-trailer, uh, let's see, we want to take the trailer hitch off. And yeah, put a spare wheel on, maybe, oh, let's see here. I need to get a fuel carriage. Wow, that was so close, guys. <laughs> All right, what do I want? I want to get, um, I got to get more utility. Oh, this one does not do, okay. It can do a utility attachment, trailer hitch, spare wheel. Medium log cart, um, log carriage. We don't need any more garage parts. Um, what else do we have? Fire fuel cistern. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So fireproof exhaust, fuel semi trailer, garage cart. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna go get some fuel, and we're gonna fuel up the other trucks. And maybe work on something, locking some stuff. Uh, but yeah, that was awesome. We made it. And there's the fuel cistern right next door. Yes, John. What's up, kid? It's Seth's turn, honey. I know. <laughs> Dude, I mean, you could hear it going, right, guys? You heard that motor going. It was having some rough times, man. So really, if you can keep the four-wheel drive off, it's the best. That's the best. All right, so we're going to do this. 72 liters, fill it up. Boop. <laughs> All right, and then let's see. In neutral, let's take a look at the map real quick and see what we got to do next. Uh, we really should unlock these watch points. So I'm probably just going to park this truck here for now. And we'll grab the A469 A and unlock the points. Um, and then we'll take, we'll do, we're going to bring that truck back down once I have the points unlocked. And um, this, uh, we'll take the C35 with a repair kit. Let me, let's take a look at this real quick. 
You'll see what I'm doing. We're going to do uh, a utility attachment. So we're going to use this truck to repair the other trucks, and we're going to use the gas truck to fill them up. So then we'll decide what to do after that. But that's going to be my next move. Um, and so we'll play this game. When I play multiplayer, we'll do the island. That way we have two different series going. Um, so we'll do this as the bog, and then we'll do that one as the, um, the island. And I'll continue to stream this for quite some time, but we'll also be finishing this up on YouTube. So uh, I'm going to switch over now to the A, this guy, and we're going to start unlocking. So let's go ahead. Spare wheel. Uh, no, we just want to do the truck. Yep. And we're going to go ahead and start this up. Put the headlights on, which is what button? That's not what I wanted. I gotta find the headlights, sorry. Okay, ready to go. And we're gonna get inside and drive. Park not yet. <laughs> not with the parking brake on, though. All right, so let's go ahead and unlock those points. This should be easy to do. Maybe. Le famous last words, right? It's just those water splashes we really got to watch, you know? There's nothing we can't truck through. Do I need all-wheel drive on? Let's see if the truck jumps up when I do it. Yep, we did. Just trying to get around all these pieces of wood on the road. There we go. Through the trees, right? <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's the best way to get stuck is to try to go through the woods, man. I learned that a long time ago about this game. Don't, spin tires do not go in the woods. That's the, <laughs> it's the absolute worst thing you can do. As soon as you get in the trees, man, you just get lost. Then you get stuck. Then you try to get another truck, and then they both get stuck, and you just have a big mess on your hands. What, Seth? Wake me up before you go, go. I'll wake you up, Seth. Don't worry. Um, yeah. Ding. Okay, there's some trees there. Watch out for those. Well, from what I understand, the, the, actually the, using the diff lock is better as far as the um, fuel economy. So if you're going to take anything off, it's better to take all-wheel drive off. Um, but, yeah, you can do vice versa. I mean, either of them. In fact, let's take a look at the economy stats, all right? So all-wheel drive. To me, it seems like the, the all-wheel drive would take less fuel, but that's, I guess, not how it works. Because in real life, you can have four-wheel drive, and then you can have diff lock. So let's see. Um, we'll take a we'll do a test here. Uh, how do I get out? There we go. Right now, with nothing on, I'm using zero liters per minute. I'm using one liter per minute with the all-wheel drive. I'm using zero with the diff lock. So the all-wheel drive takes more fuel. The diff lock takes like nothing. So diff lock doesn't really make a difference. So you want to use the diff lock and then use the all-wheel drive in the worst case scenario. But anyway, I digress. I like this truck because it really bumps around, like the road really throws it around. And so you have, on the steering wheel, you have a lot more feedback, like a feeling of like you're really getting knocked around. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it in all-wheel drive. I'm not being... <laughs> Crazy B man P. Thank you, dude. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and turn the map on and see where we're headed. I'll put the truck in neutral. And uh, so we are uh, almost to the lumber mill. I'm just going to mark this point here so I know that I'm getting close. So I know when I pass it. All right, John, knock it off, kid. Seriously, if you guys are going to be doing that, I want you both out. Let's see here. All right. And so you go back out of the map. There we go. 
I might change those buttons around too. Hi, kiddo. How'd you get scratched like that, Mater? From the walls? From the laundry man? The laundry bin. Oh, okay. Over there. Over there. Sorry about that, kid. Turn the diff lock off so I don't damage the truck as we pick up speed here. And then as we get stuck in the bog, then put it back in, put it back in first. Once in a while, you get into second gear. We get some pretty big... Now, now that we took the truck through, unfortunately, we've made some pretty big ruts in the road with that truck. <laughs> so... Getting the Jeep through is a little bit more difficult. Or the UAZ. That's a good point, uh, Drek. That makes that, that you're you're right because you're the the motor's working harder with the four wheel drive than it is with the diff lock. So we'll just kind of get used to turning it on and off. Daddy. No, we just really need it though. Yes, kid. Seth, don't bite Mater. That's not very nice. I know you. I know you're just messing around. Wee! <laughs> Get a second gear boost there into the next section of mud. <laughs> All right. So at nighttime, I drive inside the truck because it's a lot easier to see where you're going. During the day, I try to drive outside the truck so you guys can get a better view. But since it's dark right now, I find it's easier just to be in the cab. Oh. <laughs> uh, tipping. <laughs> this game just looks great. I love it. I love the in-the-cab view. Now, uh, the in-the-cab view, honestly, is actually not totally new. Um, there were several mods that, uh, like, there were mod tractors. They had some MTZ Russian tractors and Belarus Belarusian tractors that had, um, oh, boy that had uh, in the cab view. So um, it's not like a totally new concept. I'm going to go this way. Oh, man, the water. It's pretty deep. Okay, there we go. All right. This is where we got stuck with the truck, if you guys remember. this is, That's the same corner that I had to winch my way out of. So we're back in this bog. And there's the, the famous cattails telling us that there's water here, giving us the warning that you're about to go in the drink. Just trying to stay on the edge, not getting too deep into the water. I love the way the water splashed up on the windshield. That's awesome. <laughs> and here we go. We're finally out. Oh, boo. Cool. All right, so. I think I just need to keep the all-wheel drive on, though, because every time I turn it off, I get bogged. Like, there, this is serious mud, right? There's the first waypoint. Um, they're showing me the next one's to the right a bit. Let's take a look at the map again and see how far we've progressed. Um, I know that we're around the corner, so we're... Okay, that's why it's showing you, because we need to go through this area first, so... Hang on one second, folks. Sorry about that. I had to give the kids a little talking to there. I'm getting a little bit too rambunctious. It's late at night. They need to be asleep, so. All right. So, this stream tonight is brought to you by Big Nasty. Hopefully Big Nasty's watching. I know he's been chatting me a little bit on Steam, but like since I'm streaming, I can't really chat back. So I'm going to have to hit him up once we're done. There's the rock that I got stuck on right up there. That second rock, yep. <laughs> and I'm just kind of staying over on the edge here so we don't totally get in the water. But my pants are all wet. Oh, I'm still in second gear. Oops, I need to go into first. And the sun's starting to come up. Beautiful day in the woods. Now, we'll get to that fuel station up there, and then we'll go exploring. 
Um, I need to get uh, some gas into the truck once we get up there. We're going to go to the left here, because if we go to the right, we get into a pretty big lake. Um, well, that sun came up fast. Now, I noticed there was no Did amazing red that? sunset like there are sometimes in spin tires, so I'm kind of sad that they took that out, but... Uh, they're try probably maybe trying to get make the game look a, a little more realistic. Oh. I didn't see any glowing flowers in the woods at night either. You guys remember those? <laughs> the glowing mushrooms, right. All right, I'm really bogged down in here. Time for Night Nights, Mater. And there we go. So the daylight has returned. Still need my lights, though. It's still pretty dark. This looks like fall. I love it. It's like autumn here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. All right, I think we turn left. Yep, because that's where the lake, that's the road that comes from the lake. So we're headed the right direction. Good night, Mater. I love you. Um, if you're quiet. Oh, they do have glowing flowers in one of the challenges? Okay, there you go. All right, go to bed. Yeah, this is really mucky here because of the truck passage. Ugh. Try to get over here to the side a little bit and get some more grip. There we go. Sometimes you have to drive on the side of the road to get the kind of grip that you need. Oh, man, we are really tipping. And here's the bridge. It's the bridge of death. <laughs> it's kind of a scary crossing. You're going to what? Okay, John. Get next to Seth, please. John said he's going to sleep in my arms tonight. <laughs> you mean like last night? And so I didn't get any sleep because you were crushing me off the bed? <laughs> you might have been comfortable, but I was awake all night. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at this. I mean, this is just amazing. I just the feeling of immersion is incredible. Oh yeah. This is what it's all about. And honestly, this is one of my favorite parts of the game is the unlocking process. The driving the trucks is really cool, but the fun part is doing the exploration and kind of seeing the map and you know, working your way through all kinds of different obstacles. It's to me that's one of the more enjoyable parts of the game. Um, looks like we're coming. What's up, what's up here? There's my marker. So that means that uh, there's the. Okay, so they got rid of the uh, the stealth NATO. Uh, it's a uh, uh, um, yeah. It's it's now a flag. It's like a little. It's a black flag. Black flag on my morning. All right. Oops. There's the navigation point. Let's go head up to the garage. Whoops. They used to have those black tornadoes. Remember the black NATO? Oh, yeah. Those are gone. Why? I don't know. They just got rid of them. So let's head up to the gas point. And there's the garage right there. Did they put a flag, Daddy? Yeah, they put a flag instead, John. Why? Are you sad? Like you like the tornado? Yeah. Well, we can still always play the old version of Spin Tires, though. Maybe not after playing this. I might, play have, I might never go back. Play it. Never. Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So you guys digging it so far? Everyone wants to get it? I hope so. I think it's worth it. Especially if you own spin tires. Because you're going to be able to upgrade for cheap, you know. But if you haven't played a Spin Tires game, or if you're on a console, and this is the first time that you've gotten a chance to play the game, it is definitely worth it. I've had so much fun with the Spin Tires series of games. I mean, that first game I played, like, literally I have over 600 hours, I think. either Definitely over 500, but I think I'm over 600 hours in that game. It's so good. It's just so good. All right, so we're going to pull up here next to the truck and get refueled. And we're going to fill this up. Go. So now we have some fuel to travel with. Let's go ahead and look at the map. 
And we're going to see, what time is it, 12.18? I can probably go till about 1 o'clock tonight, and then I need to call it quits. Um, so we're going to finish these last two lock points. I might continue on over, you know, it's hard to know. we got a bunch of trucks out there. The K700 is what we want to do the logging, though. It's B131, and another B131. B66, I wonder what that is. Oh, this is telling us, look, uh, this has fuel in it. It's got one garage point with it and 271 repair points. It doesn't tell us the condition of the truck, though. Um, yeah, it's awesome on the PC. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fun on the PS4, too, though. This guy's set up for short logs, and he's carrying 80 repair points. That's pretty cool. Medium logs, that's what we'll be doing. The K700 is locked. These are all locked, so we'll unlock those too. But I think I'll probably use the Jeep to unlock those. We'll see. Some of these hazards are pretty deep. But um, all right, so we need to get to this watch point. I don't know how we're going to get there. I think I need to kind of plot this out. This is where we almost drowned last time. So I think we actually need to go back, and we're going to go down here this way. And then this way, and then this way. Oh, man, that's looking really deep. But we'll try. We're going to try going this way, so let's see what happens. Uh, back to the game. Real quick, I want to change one control setting. I apologize, but I want to do the navigational map. I want to be this button. Yes. And I want this to be my main menu button. And then this is... Nope, I pressed the wrong one. Nope. Come on. Navigational map, yes. And then, yep, there we go. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the thing. There we go. Cool. Right? No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Crap. How did I do that? Oh, hold on. <laughs> Navigational map, I want to be this button. Yes. Okay. Menu, I want to be this button. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Resume. All right. So let's go ahead and get out of here. Yeah, the consoles needed a game like this. And Farm Sim. Those are, those are you know... I'm excited. I want to see how Farm Sim is for the GameCube. I'm not ex Or for the Switch. I'm not expecting it to be, like, too exciting, but... I will probably end up buying it for the Switch anyway. All right, let's see here. I'm going to turn the lights off. And get back in the cab. Nope, that's the wrong button. There we go. What's the matter, Sue? The farm sim. You said, oh. <laughs> it's not a waste of money. It's awesome. Farm sim is my favorite game. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can find our way through this mess. Hopefully we can get through it during the daytime. Um, it'll be a lot easier than trying to do it at night. Since the sun just came up, we should be able to do it pretty easily. There's our first watch point. The next one's probably going to be taking us to the right through this gully. Uh, I think it's the second area here. Oops. Sorry. Good thing I didn't damage the truck, huh? Yeah, this is the second one. Oh, this is not good. I remember this place. Yeah, this is based on a map that we had before, so it's not really a new map. It's new locations. Yeah, you do you remember it, Seth? Yeah, this is horrible. Um, but what's worse, the water that's going to blow my truck up or this? I guess, here we go. Ah, oh, these rocks. Oh, that's okay. We got repair points. That's what they're for. Oh, crap. I got stuck. No, come on. Oh, no, I, won't. <laughs> I put it in fifth. I thought I put it in reverse. There we go. All right. Come on, baby. Oh. What? All right. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Talk to me. Oh, don't tip. No, these rocks are tipping me up. Oh. Yep. It's the valley of death. No, come on, I put it in neutral. Ugh. Mm. 
Come on. There we go. All right. We're just going to have to work our way through here. Oh, oh man. Oh. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, don't tip. Oh. Shoot. These rocks. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, brother. I mean, we are like at <laughs> like a 60-degree angle there, man. Okay, there we go. Woo! Back it up a little bit so we can get some traction. Come on, baby. Uh, it might just be too steep of an angle. Hopefully I can grab onto a tree or something here. Uh, pretty far away from stuff, though. Okay, let's back up. Try a different line here. Uh, to the right. This looks steeper to the right, but I don't know. My dumb. Come on. <laughs> Turn those wheels. Come on, get it turning. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. That was it. Okay, all right. Oh, oh, don't tip over. Got to watch those transitions when you tip from one side to the other. Ah, oh, these rocks. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, freak. Oh. Oh. Ah. Okay. All right. We're almost out. We're almost out. Okay, good. We did it. All right. I don't think that would have been so real in, or as I don't think it would have been as easy in real life. <laughs> That's that is like a nightmare. I don't know. I don't even know if you'd really take a truck in there like that. This is still bad out here, though. Look at all these logs and stuff all over the place. Ah. Oh, man. Best game ever. Oh, maybe. Okay, we need to see where where are we pointing to. So the, the, the objective is to the right somewhere. There you go. Not a mess. Good off-roading, right? Don't run the trees over. Oh. All right, how much damage do we have? Okay, it doesn't... Oh, I got stuck on a rock. <laughs> Almost stalled the truck. Put it in reverse. This tree's going to get me stuck. Oh, come on. Hook, unhook. Ah, I'm stuck on the tree. I knew it. I told you I'd get stuck. I told you that tree would hook me. No. Thought I had it in reverse. Oh, come on. I pushed the gear shifter before I pushed the clutch. That was my fault. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, unhook. Oh, the tree's got me. Okay, I'm going to have to back up. Oh. These stupid pine trees. Oh. Yeah, a truck, no, but you you could take a Jeep, yeah. All those rocks, you got to be super careful. Um, which way are we headed? We're going to be going left. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're starting to get into the woods. Oh, no. It's to our right. Oh, this is bad. There's probably a road that leads, like, north and south from it, but I can't... There's the mushrooms. Hey, magic mushrooms, yay. Uh, but it's... it's uh, um, I definitely didn't pick the right way to do it, so. All right. Uh-oh. Did I just stall? I can't. Oh, my sound went out. Okay. Yeah, I think they do function, actually. I'm stuck. Crud. So I'm trying to... Not, now I'm in a glade. This is not good. Ugh. I bet you the gauges will function or do function. Come on, come on, pull through. Come on. Oh. Oh, man. Slow. Oh, there's a Christmas tree right there. Oh, man, we are way in the woods. This is not good. Oh, dang it. Oh, I did not want to come back in here. Oh, geez. Because it's really easy to get. Oh, the trees are just getting thicker. No. This was not the right way. Oh. Hold on, let me see. I'm getting panicked here now. I'm going to get stuck in the woods. 
no, this is just not. There's there's not a through here. It's not it's not happening. Maybe that way, but oh man, let's take a look at the map. Where are we? Map. Neutral parking brake map. Oh, we're so close. Oh, dang it. But there's you can see here, there's some kind of ridge or something between it and us. This might have been a better way to go. I don't know if I can get turned around. Like going to the south there, that looks like that might be something. So let's go, I guess we'll go ahead and try it. Um, if I can, uh, maybe we'll... Uh, <laughs> okay, um, now I'm going to back up. Parking brake off. Yes, John. Because this is what happens. You end up with an Austin Powers 74-point uh, turn. Let's get the frick out of here if I can. Okay. There's the Christmas tree that we almost hit. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Okay, there we go. Okay. Cut him down. Make a path. That's right. Think outside the box. Just cut him down. Okay, we're going to go this way. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck on something again. I, I, I'm turning right and the truck's going left. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, fifth gear. No, reverse. There we go. Oh, come on. Ah. Let me back up. I'm really hung up on something. And see, when you get that hung up, sometimes the winch won't help. Come on, baby. Oh. Nope. Ah. Nope. Okay, so we need to uh, re... I am reviewing the situation. I have to get out, I guess, to do that. So, get out. Chainsaw. Yes, John. I have a question. What's your question, John? Why don't we have to wear those clothes <gasps> in the closet? Why do you have to wear the clothes? Why don't I ever wear the clothes in my closet? Yeah. I just wear black T-shirts all the time. That's all I wear. I know. Oh, I never do. You're right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look, I'm dragging that stupid tree with me. Dang it! Let go. <laughs> That's what had me hung up. Was that tree? Okay. <laughs> Let's get out of freaking out of here, man. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, yeah! Freedom! Freedom! I'm good at Thanks, John. I am good at driving. I'm bad at driving. Thanks, John. I'm bad at driving. I'm both good and bad. Let's repair the truck up a little bit. Give us some fuel. All right. And back into the driver mode. Okay. Uh, where we want to go is to the right, but it wasn't working, so we're going to try a different... Why am I stalling? Oh, I'm in advance. That's right. Parking brake is on. I'm going to bust out of here. All right, so we'll try a different approach. Hopefully we'll find a road heading north here shortly as we follow this track. Into the great wide open... Under red, white, and blue. Poor Tom Petty. I mean, you live a rock and roll life, though, and I guess, you know, it's, it's bound to catch up to you eventually. We all got to go sometime. All right. So we are getting further and further away from this point, but the hope is that we can surround... Like, we were pretty dang close there. Here's a track heading that way, maybe. Um, yeah, that could this could possibly be the way to go. And it's kind of opening up here, too, a little bit. We're not... Uh, the ground is a lot firmer. I'm getting some more traction, except for here. This is luck. It's to the right. Well, how the heck do they expect us to get in there, man? This is crazy. Ugh. 
There it is. All right, we made it. Wow. <laughs> well, y there are some maps that have roads in them, um, Jeremy, and so you can actually get up to fifth gear there. But, you know, I mean, they give you five gears because this truck really has five gears. I mean, that's... <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're going off road; it still ha it still can go on the road too. It has fi it has a fifth gear for freeway travel. So, in in the spirit of realisticness, you wouldn't really give a truck one gear. That was one of my complaints with spin tires because you only had one gear. You could put it in drive where it would shift automatically, or put it in first gear, but you could never actually shift the gears. And so, um, yeah, it is true you mostly stay in first, but. Here we go. All right. Wow, that was a, a definitely a, a harrowing experience. We still have about a half an hour left. Let's keep going and unlocking the map here. And uh, wow, what a great game. So let's go ahead and look at our map. Um, that's not what I wanted. Okay, now I've changed my buttons. I'm all corn fuseled. Uh, next, we have the last watch point that we need to unlock, and then we have these trucks. Question is, do we go for the trucks first? That we're now that we're here, and then go back to the watch point, and then abandon the jeep. That's probably what we should do. Or do we get the watch point, and then try to unlock all the trucks with that? Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't have to unlock that middle watch point, but I would like to unlock it. So we're going to go here, here, here. And there, let's do it. And then we'll figure, we'll do the rest of the trucks with this. That's kind of cool. There's another, that's like the place we went through. It's one of those disaster areas. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop back into the truck. And make our way to the next point. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> I really am enjoying driving inside the truck. I know, in fact, let's go back out. I'm, as, as you can see, I'm just stuck inside the truck. It looks so cool and it's so different. And then outside is <laughs> Joe Lachero. Thank you for the subscription. Lachero, 1981, a good year. Not as good as Dream Date 88, though. That was. <laughs> Back when Def Leppard was releasing Pyromania. Actually, that was probably like 85. <laughs> Crush those trees. Take that, tree hugger. Whoa. That's what I get for being mean to tree huggers. <laughs> All right. This is the truck. I don't know. It's fun playing on the outside, but I've just done it for so long. I really want... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. You go to bed, John. You go to bed. I'm not mean. It's bedtime. No, I'm not. I mean because I make my five-year-old go to bed at one o'clock in the morning. What a mean dad. Or like a bad dad. Oh, this is pretty out here, though. Now, this looks totally different. I don't remember it looking like this, even though the map layout is somewhat the same. This is this part of the map looks very different. Beautiful. It's like a stunning English countryside. I don't know why I think it's put that on me, but... <sighs> and now the point's to the right. So I think what we've done... The watchtower is going to be on the other side of this stand of trees, so we have to decide whether which which way holds the least fate, the left or the right. I'm going to go to the right. Seems like I was closer to that side of it. Anyway, whoa! Knock sideways. Yep. Holy cow. I'm also going to... Kyle was Kyle was definitely cynical about it. I'm definitely going to leave him a message and say, get it tonight. <laughs> but he'll have to watch the videos and see for himself.
Yep, me too. <laughs> My kids are homeschooled, but they do have to get up in the morning, so they're going to be pretty tired. John, go to sleep. There's the watch point. Yay! The it's it's the last unlock point. So let's go and see what other trucks we have on the map. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you, this truck just needs to be in all-wheel drive all the time. It is hot in here, Seth. And I have the... We unlocked the bog! This lake is new. Lake Winnemucca. Okay, so let's take a look here at the map. What, John? Hey, Seth, I put it away. Seth, can you... Uh... Okay, so let's go ahead and get over to the... Trucks? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, you will when I... If I have to tell you. Seth, come on. We're going to go up here and unlock these two trucks. And, um, and then we'll work our way down and unlock those trucks. Plenty of sunshine. I love the series. It's funny because I did spin tires and nobody ever. Nobody ever watched it. But um, hold on one second. Sorry, a little bit of uh, administration going on here. So let's make it our way to. Let's make our way to the big trucks around the lake. I'm not going through the lake. This lake is probably pretty deep, actually. And since the ground's pretty flat, we should be able to get in the second gear here. Heck, even third. Look at this. No, fourth. Not fourth. <laughs> Whoops, now I stalled it. <laughs> nope, I got too aggressive. Okay, we want to go this way. All right. I don't like the way that they put your compass behind the steering wheel. The forethought on that probably wasn't too great. Uh, maybe we should not put the thing behind the steering wheel. How are you going to see if it's behind the steering wheel? But That's what they did. Toot toot. Maybe it should be up in the upper left-hand corner or something. Something better. Oh, that's the road I wanted. Look at that. There it is. Whoa! Getting bumped around. I was using the clutch. Oh my. My shifting skills. Fly over the road here as we bump our way through the bog. All right, so we're coming into looks like a a very monochrome sunset. <laughs> Day two. Looks like we're going to get some of those cool reds, though. And that might change per map, too. There we go. This makes me miss my Jeep. Man, I loved my Jeep. That was probably the, the, the coolest car I ever owned. I had a Jeep Cherokee Classic, Forest Green. Uh, off-roading tires, like all these, you know, had like off-roading lights and stuff like that. Man, it was a cool Jeep. That was way back when. I love that thing. Such a neat truck. All right, so we should be, this should go, I don't know, it depends. If we could stay on the roads, it should go pretty fast. But, you know, some of these roads, as you've seen, are just like muck fest. So this is pretty bad here. We're not going to get any speed on this. I'm trying to get out of the ruts. I'm glad you guys are entertained. Are oh, you not entertained? Uh, it's just getting really boggy here. Well, we've had moments of fast speed, but once again, this bog is deeper, Jeremy, just so you know. It's not, this is, 
this map is especially muddy. There are maps where they have a little bit harder roads that you can drive on. You can definitely get in second, third gear on some of them. But not this one. Let's see. This doesn't look too deep. Oh my. Next one's to the right. Now, one of the things I like about my new video card, um, despite some of the issues that I'm having, um, I really like the fact that my video card now, um, when I load stuff into Vegas for editing, it actually does not have to process any audio. It just loads right in. So I don't have to wait anymore for it to come. Like when I want to edit a video, like tonight I'll be able to throw this into a video and export it for YouTube. And, and it'll take me like all of maybe like 10 minutes to get it going. That way I can upload it in the morning and have a video for you guys tomorrow. Or for all my YouTube people that haven't seen this yet. So it makes my, my life a little bit easier and I can have a cooler, faster experience for them and myself also. So I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about the new video card and how... At first I was having issues, but now it's, it's really starting to pan out and, and work a lot better. Um, so that's good news, you know. I've got most of the kinks ironed out. Farm Sim still is having some weird delay issues at times, but most of the kinks are ironed out. So anyway, I'm, had, I'm happy. I'm happy to be here, folks. <laughs> having fun. Whoa, branches and rocks, no. There we go. We got out of it. Now, I think, if I remember right, the main road up here that we're almost up to is in pretty bad shape. Like, it's going to be really mucky when we get up there. These back roads aren't as heavily used, so... Yeah, they're fast days. Yeah. <laughs> got plenty of gas. There we go. Now I can get some speed. And into the mud. Back into first. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I think we just pulled out onto the main road. And as you can see here, it's just a big, mucky mess. Though there's some tread places here. Eh, this isn't too bad right here. But then you keep getting thrown into the mire. There we go. That's pretty cool. I can see something up ahead. I think it's the shadow of a truck. So we're getting close to that portion. And then, uh, like I said, I got about... Oh, whoa. Got to be careful not to break the Jeep. Splash down. Try to go over here. Oh. <laughs> this is fun, though. I like the mudding. This is pretty cool. A little more road-like. Hey, hey, there's the 131. All right. And where is our K700? Well, oh, I'm in the muck. It is odd how the gearing system works. Like, in third gear, it's like... Like, I'm max, max RPM in first gear is like 2,000 RPM. As you go up in gears, the speed, the speed goes up. Where did that K700 go, though? I missed it. Hmm. Let's take a look at the map here. Time flies when you're having fun. That's right. Where is that truck? Oh, I, I, I must have... Okay, so I'm just going to do that. There we go. Uh, back here. So we're going to spin it around here. This thing turns on a dime, too. I like that. We're in the muck. Yuck. Oh, got stuck on something there.
Let's see here. So it's back in here somewhere. But this is we're gonna need this tractor because this thing is this is gonna be our log loader, which is awesome. I hope all the maps have this thing. How do we find this before? Is there a second one, maybe? Uh, uh oh. Something happened. Maybe a rock or something I got stuck on. Okay, so uh, forward. Nope. Around! <laughs> there we go. And honestly, we've used very little fuel. There we go. There's our K700. Is this the same one? Yeah, it's all bashed up like the other one. I don't... We never came up here. I don't know how... Maybe each time you do it, they randomize where the trucks are located. Wasn't the K700 at the bottom of the map last time? I could have sworn it was. Whoops. Go around that. Oh, crap. I had the... Ah. All right, so here. Let's uh, take a look at the map again. And for the last couple minutes here, let's go ahead and see if we can get down. <sighs> there's, a, there's really no easy way to get down to the other part of the map, but let's go ahead and do it. Um, does this show us now the stats of the truck? No, but we can jump in it. Okay. This has less damage than last time, too. It had like 200-something last time. So, interesting. So we really only need to have fuel in this thing, and we can use it. I mean, we should fix it up anyway, but... Okay, so, uh, back to the map. How about the B-131? This has got medium logs set up for it. That's a cool truck. Um, oh, what, what did it say? What, what, was the, what was the status? This is... Yeah, they're all a little bit damaged. They almost all are all out of fuel. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, and then we don't know those yet. So back to the A69. We're going to make our map move here and then here. I've done this before. This is a pain in the butt, finding your way through this section. Um, and then we're going to go down uh, to the fuel station. Maybe if I do back here. Hang on, can I back that one off? There we go. I want to make it so it's a little more clear. And then we're going to go here and take that here and then here and then here and then here there we go <laughs> yeah there was definitely one on the bottom of the map and now there's not so uh i don't i think i'm gonna have to unlock this other one with the other truck otherwise i'm gonna have to go all the way around so our goal for this will be the last part of the show tonight we'll go down here and unlock the c4320 the b66 i'm gonna unlock with the truck that's here um, so maybe we'll do like a, I'll probably get the fuel truck and bring it back down. Um, we'll join these two together and we'll make a round and get all the trucks up and running and fueled. And then we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and hop back into our Jeep. And for the rest of the episode, uh, we'll, we'll finish this last trail of the map. And since it's nighttime, we'll honor night by riding in the cockpit. And oh, by the way, happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> I forgot to tell everybody that. We've been in, for, we've been here in the East Coast, we've been in it for an hour. On the, in the middle of the coast, you've been in it for, not yet. <laughs> or in the middle of the country. In 10 minutes, you'll be Halloweening it. Well, this has been an adventure, hasn't it, guys? I'm really enjoying this game, and I'm, I'm uh, much more than I thought I would. Uh, and definitely the cockpit view is a big part of it. The steering setup is part of it. They really have made it so that it's a cool, different kind of game than it used to be in that manner. But it's still got the great spin tires bones. I'm going to follow this road here. Uh... There we go. Oh, it got it. <laughs> Come on. What's going on here? I'm hooked on something. There's rocks all over the place in here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to clear out of this, though. Try that again. Go this way. It settles on it right there. You see it? 
It's, it's catching on my axle, I think. There could be a tree in there, too, though. Oh, come on. Let's go. There we go. Now, do I need to turn right here or go straight? Uh, I'm going to say straight. Ha, 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 Jeremy. Uh, no, we're going to be doing this tomorrow and then maybe Fallout 4. We'll have to see. Uh, this is the new game, though. But, yeah, I know. I haven't done Fallout. Maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll do, we'll do like, I'll do a multiplayer session, and we'll see how I feel after that. If I don't do Fallout 4 tomorrow, I promise I will do it Wednesday night. I promise I'll do it Wednesday night. And then we'll, we'll move my summer car to, like, Thursday or, or, or Saturday. No, I'm not doing World of Warships tomorrow. Um, we're doing this instead of World. But this is going to be, is this is taking the place of World of Warships for this week? But we will be back to World of Warships the following week, so... But with this new game being out, I want to I want to be able to play it a couple times on Twitch this week, while the iron's hot, you know. So uh, World of Warships will come back next week. Wow, this road is really bad. It's all rocks. You can see kicking my truck around. Ugh. Now, I can't wait to see some of the mods that come out. Hopefully, they'll have some, like, like Jeep mods and stuff like that. It'd be pretty cool to take, like, a like an open-top Jeep or something like that on these back roads. Man, these rocks are bad. What's that, Jeremy? You didn't like World of Warships at first, but now it's really cool. Yeah, World of Warships is a good game. I kind of stink at it still. I need to get better. I'm really having a hard time with the cruisers. I like the destroyers. I usually do okay. Um, but the battleships I do pretty well in. It depends. Sometimes I have terrible battles. Sometimes I have great battles. You really need to land your shells with the battleships, though. You don't get many options to, or many chances to fire, you know. It takes like 30 seconds to reload, whereas the cruiser, it's like every five seconds you're reloaded. All right, so there's a turn coming up here, and I need to figure out where it is. Okay, there it is. All right. Easy peasy. Oh, Fallout 4? Okay, yeah. So tomorrow night will be spin tires, followed by Fallout 4, if I have the stamina. If I don't, it's going to be Wednesday. It's hard for me to do. Like, this tonight was rough. Like, my eye, I, I'm getting a bit of a headache and stuff because I've been playing for, well, since 8 o'clock, so we're now going into hour number 5. For me to do that two nights in a row is really difficult. Um, so we'll definitely be doing this tomorrow night, but then I probably will call it a night, and we'll do... Um, and I also have a very busy day on Wednesday, so Wednesday night we'll do Fallout 4 after band practice, and that's kind of probably the what I will roll with as far as my schedule. I think I have to go this way. Oh! <laughs> oh! Bang, bang a rang. Hit something there. Come on, get me in reverse here, bubs. Right. No. Come on. Get over it. Ugh. I'm hoping I can just get some traction somewhere else, but no. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to hop out and winch. Oh, I forgot to put it in neutral. <laughs> hey, that's only like the second time tonight. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Let's hop out of the truck and get our <laughs> our advanced tab open. And we're going to attach the winch. Ta-da! Boink! We're free! Yay! Ah, the sun is finally coming up. La 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 It's one o'clock in the morning and I'm still playing video games. What's that? <laughs> Seth told me to stop. Thanks, Seth. Jerk. You're mean, Seth. Don't you love me? Don't you love me, Soupy? Don't you love me? Oh. I was working as a logger in Russia. 
driving this Jeep. Seth was lying in the bed and Mater was asleep. That much is true. <laughs> don't. Don't you like me? Don't you like it when I sing during my streams? Don't. <laughs> Seth said, no, I don't. Fine, Seth. Okay, outside. Fuel. Oh, no. Fuel it up. Fuel up. Fill her up. And we're going to repair the truck while we're here. Might as well take a whoops, moment to put the menu open. Uh, trunk 81. Repair. Oh, stop it. I have to remember to take my hand off the steering wheel when I do it. Because it's the steering wheel that makes it do all that weird stuff. Okay, and back into it. And so we're about... Wow, we really made good progress. We're almost to our destination. It'll be right in time. Oh my gosh. Um, I played th till 3 o'clock last night making that stupid tutorial video. <laughs> uh, I didn't really want to be up that late, but I was. I was a wreck today. All day long. So we're doing good here. We're doing good. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Oh, the camera. There we go. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is bad. We're going to have to winch our way through this. This is going to take like 10 minutes. And about 15 minutes off of my life. Come on, kiddo. Come on, trucko. This is the bog. There you are. Well, it's living up to its namesake. <laughs> Just sank right in. Plop. Okay, so. All right, so we're going to do... What are we going to do here? Um, well, I guess I have to press the wrong button again. I'm just going to move that off my thing altogether. Um, all right, so we're going to winch it. Um, wait, whoa, I can't see. Winch! The winch. Move the camera so you can see the menu for crying out loud! Yeah, it's definitely. Look at, listen to the. Look at the exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, attach winch. Can I get that one? Yeah, perfect. Oh, the tree fell over! Splat! Pull me through. Uh, I think I went a little too close to the tree there, but that's all right. And I'm going to hook this one up to the next one. There we go. Oh, I... <laughs> I broke the tree. Whoops. But we should have the parking brake on for some stupid reason. Frick. Because that makes sense. <laughs> We're going to get bogged down again, though. This is all bog back here. It's bad news bears. Well, we know not to bring the logging truck back here anyway. Oh, ooh, yeah. Pop it over. Grab that stick. Come on. Grab it. Grab it. Oh. Gurgle, gurgle. Putt, putt. There we go. Jump it. Jump it. Yeah. What the frick? What is sucking me over to the right? Am I still tied? I thought that, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool that the tree fell down. That was really neat. I was not expecting that for sure. Let's see how it looks inside the truck. See, the windows stay clean. There we go. What if I go to the right a little bit? What if we stay over here and kind of get out of the boggy part? Nope, it's all bog back here, too. Wow. I might have made the situation worse because there's sticks back here. Tangled. All right, let's... Uh, well, let's do this. 
Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I left it in gear. That's why. Duh. Where's my winch? Um, let's turn the parking brake off. What's up, Andrew? It's awesome. Yeah, this game is awesome. All right, winch. Nope, why did it turn off? I wasn't done. Attach. Attach the winch. Listen here, winch. It's going to pull that tree down. But the tree's falling? Yeah, I bet it does. You're like, oops. And winch me again. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's really good, man. All right, so let's see here. I want to winch to a different item. So I have to unwinch this, and then I want to winch again. And I'm going to winch to this tree here. Slowly, we're going to make our way through this bog. Hopefully the roots on that bad boy will hold. So my only complaint is that we still have the same shizzy camera controls that I really I don't love. I, I gotta admit, I'm not a super big fan of the camera controls, never was. But I'm used to them. Okay, why can't we just... I won't understand why that doesn't stay on as we click it. But, okay. So, um... And we're gonna do one more... One, probably just need one more winch. Right, and we select the source. Just do it back here is fine. Sometimes you can. I usually just pull myself. It depends. You can drive, but then what happens is if you get going too fast, then you're like you overshoot it. So it's like whoops. Nope. The problem is I'm gonna be. Still in advanced mode, so the parking brake's on for some reason. I've just killed myself. Hang on. Ah! Shift in the reverse. Disconnect the winch. I've got a tree buried under my truck. That's not going to help the situation at all. I need to get that tree. Okay, now it's off from underneath me. And go this way. Ah! There we go. We're almost out of the bog here, but this is like a rough spot for this truck for sure. So we can roll the rest of the way out. Eh. Nope. So. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, we need to. That's it, huh? There we go. <laughs> the game is unbelievable. You know, the big thing, live games, if you haven't uh, been, obviously you just came into the stream, uh, I'm using a G29 steering wheel, and I'm stuck on something. Uh, but it's really a lot of fun to be in the cab and using the steering wheel with the gear shifter and everything, instead of the old system where you had, like, the first gear that had, like, three sections that you could select. I've actually got a real gearbox in this truck now, and that's really cool. That makes a big difference in how the game plays and Feels. Am I still winched to this thing? Let go! Oh, crap. That's why I wasn't getting anywhere. All right, there we go. We are out. We are free and ready to go. Uh, so it is, you know, I mean, essentially it's still spin tires, which is great. Uh, this map I got all excited about, but it is actually one of the maps that... The bog map is a, game, a map that we already have had in the game. I don't know how many new maps we're going to see, but it looks like... Uh, um, there seems like they're recycling the maps, but they change them up quite a bit. So even though the maps are the same maps, things are in different places, and the truck locations are randomized, or at least what trucks you have. So like, when, the first time we played through, the Kirovitz was in one location. I came back and played the same map, and now the Kirovitz is on the other side of the map. So it's pretty cool. Like I, I like the randomization feature, but the in the cab is just awesome with the steering wheel and the gear shifter. Top notch. So that's what I'm looking for in this game. 
this is a lot of fun. All right, so we're almost done, guys, and then I got to hit the hay. Um, we're going to mosey our way up to the next truck here, which should be just around the corner, and that's it, man. Uh, no, it is multiplayer, just like the original Spin Tires was. So um, this is going to be, uh, uh, once again, essentially it's the same game as Spin Tires, and so that means that it's going to have multiplayer. Uh, but it may have some better multiplayer. From what I understand, they're trying to fix some of the issues that the original multiplayer had, though I'm not sure which issues they're trying to fix. But multiplayer always worked pretty well for me. The only downside is that multiplayer... Ruh row I think I missed the truck. Oops, almost stalled it. Let me look at the map here. Um, I think the big difference... Yeah, it's right behind me. The, the big difference is that um, n now with multiplayer, you can actually um, save the game. Before, when you did a multiplayer session, you had to play the whole session at once, and you, were, you did not have any way to save the game. Let's see if we can find this truck. Where the heck is it? There it is. I drove right past it. No, don't get stuck. We're almost there. <laughs> Thank you for joining the channel. I should see who it is in a second here. It'll tell me. But, uh, yeah, it's a great game so far. I'm really enjoying it. And once again, it is it is pretty much... Uh... What's up, Dre Dog? Live games. Thank you for joining. Sadly, Dre, I'm only going to be here for a couple more minutes. <laughs> Uh, how you been, buddy? Here they come. Here comes the Wolf Squad. It's going to be a short raid, guys. <laughs> i got to go to bed. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ribald Dave. Yep. Time for a raid. Nothing like a raid in the last, like, two minutes of a broadcast. Uh, we're going to try to cross the river, though. That'll be fun. And then I'm sure I'm going to die... And then I'm going to bed. <laughs> we'll rescue the truck tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure that the thing is going to be dead. So, anyway. <laughs> Dre Dog! Dang it, now you guys are all coming in here, and I'm going to have to, like, stay on. Shoot! <laughs> I'm ready for bed, man. It's 1 o'clock. i got to get up tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Dre. <laughs> How you been, brother? <laughs> All right, I'll play for a little bit longer, maybe 1:30. That's really pushing it because I got to get up at nine tomorrow. So uh, this, I'm never going to make it across the river with this truck. Uh, I think we're going to have to switch trucks. Um, there's just, there's no. I can try. I, I, it's not going to work, man. It ain't going to work. Here we go. Let's see. I'm just going to go and get my, to dip my toes in here and see what happens. Dude, I've been doing great. Business has been going really well, and uh, family's doing good. Kids are super cute. Oh, Lordy. Nope, that's it. We're done. That's as far as I go. <laughs> uh, so work's been good, and, you know, now obviously the season's almost over, so I'm getting a little concerned because, you know, finances are always tight. I got a bunch of companies that owe me money, and I'm like, man, they better pay. But uh, it's been going well. Thank you. How are things down in Seatown? Oh, wait, Irk. All right, so we're going to park this truck here for the night. Uh, I don't think we can use this uh, truck anymore. I think we're pretty much finished with it. We've unlocked everything, and it's done a great job, but I think our time with this truck is pretty much over. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch cars here. So let's go ahead to the map. The last truck that we need to unlock is the B66. I don't really know that we need it, but... Uh, Here's this truck. We'll, we'll fix it up and go do this. So let's get it rolling. <laughs> you said once you commit, I ain't committing that river. There ain't you're you're not gonna make it across. That <laughs> jeep, I can tell. I can already tell just from looking at it. It's not going across. <laughs> All right, let's put this thing into diff lock heaven. Yep. I have a little bit of money saved up, but it's not going to be enough to make it all the way through winter. But I think it's going to. I think we're going to stay busy this year. It seems like I picked up a lot of builders this year and stuff. So we'll have to see. I would love to be able to rest this winter. It'd be great. <laughs> you said we believe in you. Uh, 
Let's see here. All right, so we're going to work our way around. But I do love the new in-the-cab view. That is the one thing. And the fact that I'm able to use my G29 steering wheel. Those are the two things that I really love about the game. I no longer have to stick it in that silly gearbox thing that they used to have. I can actually shift gears and use it like a real truck. So I think that's pretty dang sweet. Um, let's see here. I need to look at the map real quick. Um, I think we go straight. Yep, and then we just continue straight. So we're going to just stay on this road. You said you don't sell Christmas presents. That's right. <laughs> And my kids need lots of Christmas presents, so. <laughs> so here we go. Oh yeah, for sure. Yep, being able to put, being able to actually use your own your own shifting is just great. Well, it works like a real truck, you know. Well, that's true too. <laughs> just drag it through the water. <laughs> Heck, I can't wait for Christmas. There you go. Well, I probably will be broadcasting anyway if I'm not making money. So <laughs> if there's no jobs, I will be broadcasting. This is the best I can do. I'll have monthly, I'll have monthly uh, save Arthur from losing his house drives. <laughs> I should probably be doing one right now. Anyway. All right, so let me get the... I think we're going fast enough that I don't need the diff lock right now. But when we get down to this bog, I will. I definitely need the diff lock through this. And I'm trying to stay out of the uh, all-wheel drive just because of the gas usage. But we're making it. This truck is really good at climbing. So, But see this guy? So for those of you that have just come into the channel, I mean, this is just... I know it's a little bit archaic, but I really love the first-person view. And I'm driving with the steering wheel and the stick shift and the clutch and everything. And it just, it's giving me a much better feeling than the other game did. The camera angles are still the same as the old game. Um, so there's nothing new there. But, man, this is great. Hop into second gear here. I'm going to turn our uh, diff lock off while we head downhill. And we're moving out forward. This truck, this is like driving on pavement for a regular truck, man. This truck is just made to go off-road. I can't wait to get the cameras. Yeah, the flat nose one. That one is not on this map. Unless you're talking about this guy right here, the B66. I think this is a Maz. The one we're about to turn in here, that guy. Is that the one you're talking about, uh, Ribbold? Is that, is that what we're looking at here? Because this is a cool truck. That thing is beastly, yeah, for sure. But the, uh, I love the, um, yeah, you are right. It is, it is, the graphics are a little bit muddy looking in the cab. But I, you know what? I love driving in the cab, so. There we go. There's one. Oh, you know, I'm going to fix this guy up to you while I'm here. I forgot. Okay, the six-wheel one. That's going to be the, uh, yeah, the, uh. The Maz, the big one. Yeah, that's not on this map, unfortunately. So we hop outside and put our advanced menu, and we're going to utility attachment, fix this guy up. I don't know what we'll use this truck for, the, the B66. This thing's kind of a beast, though, too. You know what? It can do pretty good with ga like hauling gas around and stuff. I mean, it's a nice truck. Um, in fact, we could probably use this to fuel up the other trucks. Um, Instead of having to go back to the other one. But we'll, we'll see. Hang on. Let me... Uh, I'm just going to go around and fix everything with this truck. Oh, i got to get out of this mode. There we go. Yeah, the cameras, once again, are just... Yeah, it's the same issue as always. It's They're not ideal. Because I really like to look at the trucks. I mean, you know, that's part of the... The fun of the game. Oops. <laughs> Look behind you. All right, so we're going to try to cross the river with this truck. I bet you we'll be successful in this one. Whoops. Yeah, 
Yep. Now, if you don't play with a gearbox, you can still have the old shifting style. Um, so you're not, you're not, uh, it's not going to, you can play with a joystick still. Um, and you can see that I misshifted. I, I didn't push my clutch in when I shifted gears. Well, I did, but I did it fast, and it, it didn't count it. So um, so it still has that weird gearbox that the old game had if you're playing with a non-standard or with a non-standard transmission. But because my steering wheel has the, the gearbox and the, the shifter and all that stuff, um, I can run like a real truck, man. So there's our, there's our little truck uh, up ahead, and we have made it back to where we started. I am going to put the all-wheel drive on to get through the water, so let's go ahead and stop the truck here and get all-wheel enabled and then get going. And this truck should have no problem crossing the river. We might get a little bit of damage as we get in deep, but once the nose is out of the water, we should be fine. Like the plus. What is the plus? I'm not sure what that means. Like a plus version of the game, or... Look at that. Sweet. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the shifter. Yeah, they do have the plus. Yeah, they do. They do have that for non-transmissions like what I'm using. So let's fix this guy up and then we'll come back down with the fuel truck and fuel him up. This is really mucky right here. You can see here, even in all-wheel drive, I'm slipping quite a bit. Yeah, this truck's really badly bashed up, so let's go ahead and fix that up. Go to the advanced menu. And we're going to repair. Whoops. What'd I do? Advanced utility attachment repair. There we go. So, yeah, I got so... How much do I have left in my utility? 332, okay. The goal of this game is to do the logging missions and get through the maps, basically. You can unlock everything in the maps and fix it all up, and then you can kind of play with the trucks, but you really, the main goal is to deliver logs. Um, there are now challenges and stuff in the game that are outside of just the plain old delivering logs, so there's more to it than there used to be, but it's still pretty much a log delivery game is at the bottom of it. Right, it's a big thing. The big part is driving the trucks in the mud. I mean, that really is what the... the um, the idea is behind the game, and it's what makes it wonderful. Um, let's see, I put it in neutral. I need to look at the map. Um, but I am just loving this. This is incredible. So we're going to go up to the fuel station here and get this truck fueled up. Boop. And I just like to use checkpoints so I know where I'm going. And then we're going back up there. We're going to fix those up, hopefully. Um, you still can zoom out. I'll show you that real quick here once I get out of the map. Um, so, uh, okay, I see what you're saying, yes. So if I press this advanced mode, all right, we'll see you, we'll see you Dre. Uh, you can click on this. There's, there's our, um, the winch source, and then you can pick up, you can pick where you want to hook it to, just like it used to be. Um, you can also zoom out a bit, like, uh, if I, if I escape out of advanced mode, I can zoom out. This is about as far as it's letting me zoom out on this truck, though, so. That's in all the way, that's out all the way, yeah. So, it's not a lot, but. Go ahead and get started here. Head down the road. Get some gas for my truck. Good night, Trey. We'll see you, man. It was good talking to you, buddy. Dre and I, I met Dre through a uh, clan a long time ago, through a, a World Tanks clan. And uh, I've known him, gosh, it's been probably like three or four years. Good night, Dre. All right, so we're coming in here, and we're going to... Splash down in some fuel. It's definitely hard to see out of the windows, but at nighttime, I love having this view. Dre Dog Paw. There you go. <laughs> there we go. And we're back into the bog. Let's see how this truck handles the bog. As you remember, the, the Jeep had some serious issues getting through this bog. Um, I'm thinking that will be just fine. I probably need to put the all wheel drive on, though, so I'm going to. Stop the truck for a second and switch the all-wheel drive on. In real life, you probably would need to stop in low gear. I know in the game they allow you to flip the 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 
the diff lock on and stuff all at once, but I need to back off on the gas. But I think in, in real life you really need to stop to lock that stuff, especially on these older trucks. I don't think they have auto lockers. Yeah, this truck is just plowing right through, even with all the weight. Look at that. It's crushing our way through the forest. wonder if I could have pulled a log trailer. Now, the one thing that bothers me, though, about the game so far is this truck is actually a six-wheel drive, but you can see my wheels are spinning at different speeds even though I have it in all-wheel drive and diff lock. You should, they should all be locked together. Like, on my RC trucks, when I lock the diffs up, everything's tied together. When I turn one wheel, all the wheels turn. Um, they should not be independent like that. But maybe that's how they are in real life. I, I don't know. We talked about that a little bit earlier in the show. I think maybe... The front wheels are independent from the back set, so that could be how they're doing it. But yeah, we didn't have to winch. Just like the Jeep had to winch all the way through here. So that's pretty cool that we were able to kind of float our way through. This truck is really cool. And you can see here, I, I'm not, I've got my foot like just lightly on the gas. So um, that could be because of the thickness of the mud. Yeah, that could be. Uh, so I'm really not burning too much fuel, um, but I'm gonna. It looks like I'm gonna bog out here. Start turning the wheels here, slowing things, slowing things down a little bit. There we go. We made it. No problems there. Smooth sailing. I don't know that I feel like the mud physics are that much different than spin tires. I know a lot of people were like looking at the game online and go or like on the YouTube videos that were be, people were putting out before it was released and going, oh, it's so different. And I'm like, ah, that's not really that different. But I love the in the cab view. To me, that makes it. And the sun is going down fast. All right, filled it up. And let's head up and we'll fix those two trucks. And then I really got to go to bed, guys. Uh, let's see here. We'll, work, we'll finish our trip. I go this way, this way. Make a sharp turn this way. Yep, it really, it's its cool. Now, I, the Atari dashboard is pretty funny to me, but I'm, I'm good with it. I'm good like that. I can handle that. I, can, I like Atari. There we go. K700. K sera sera. Let's get out of here. Yeah, more weight on the tires, definitely. Whoa. I thought it was... Must have put it in third. All right, so lights on. Somewhere here. There we go. And I'm going to go... Nighttime is in-cabin view time. I can probably turn the all-wheel drive off. But i got to wait till the button comes back around. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Wait a minute. Nope, other way. Other way. Other way. Whoa. Crap. That didn't work out to my advantage. <laughs> Oops. I missed the road. <laughs> there we go. When that nose comes up, sometimes you can't see which way you're supposed to go. <laughs> it's a guessing game. I love the cracking wood sounds. Nope, no animals on the path. But there's all kinds of rocks. And you get stuck on the trees that are stuck on the ground. Like, there's trees that's like these little branches and stuff. You can get stuck on them. They can get hooked under your truck and get you stuck. Uh, there's definitely the possibility of getting lost in the woods. I've done it before many times. Just do the best you can to stay on the paths. Um... But mostly, if you if you if you're careful and you take your time figuring out your path ahead of time, like I've done, mark it on the map, you're uh, you do much better and you have a lot less chance of getting stuck or lost. Um, sometimes you still get into conundrums though. But yeah, definitely, the water is probably the most dangerous part of the game. Getting trapped into like water bogs and stuff like that, where you sink down and you get into a place where the water is too deep and it starts to damage the truck. So you got to really watch the water level. If it starts coming up over the hood, you're screwed. So tiptoe into the water. <laughs> I know some people say go for it, but <laughs> I've played this game long enough to know that when you go for it, you don't always make it out the other side because <laughs> everything slows way down. Is this a bridge? Hang on. Yeah, it is. Oh, 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 forgot to put my clutch on. 
Yeah, you can get lost fairly easily. Ah, uh, man, this is like a really tight bridge. Uh, all right, there we go. I'm f uh, no, unfortunately, no. It doesn't. The weather's always just kind of gray, foggy weather. Um, Man, I don't know, maybe that'll change with this game, but as far as I've seen so far, and definitely with the original spin tires, you know, the weather is the weather. It doesn't change. Rain would be really tough, man. <laughs> it would be cool if they had rain. <laughs> I'd love I'd love that, because it would make it really mucky, you know. But, uh, no. What they need to do is the developer of this game now needs to take the same engine and make a farm sim with mud. You know what I mean? Like, man, that'd be so cool to have farm farming simulator with this mud, like mud and stuff. I would love that. Yeah, the rain would make a big difference. This is great, though. And you know, and a lot of times the game got really hard at nighttime when you couldn't see, but this. Having the ability to be able to look out the windshield and, and, you know, see where you're going at night really makes the game a lot easier to play, so. I won't say easier, but it makes it easier to see where you're going and figure out where the path is without getting lost. This is the same path we took with the Jeep. This truck's pretty big to be squeezing through here, but... Let's see if we can get some speed going on. <laughs> Third gear, oh yeah. Oh. Back into first. <laughs> All right. I think we're coming out here on the main road. I could be wrong, but this looks like uh, the junction into the main road. And we're going to go this way. So in the next episode, I think what's going to end up happening is we're going to... Uh, we'll get these two trucks fixed up. Um, or at least one of the trucks. And then we'll bring our... Uh, that B, The B truck that was down that we just fixed. Um, that has the long log, cart on, long log cart on it. We'll use this K700 to load it up. And uh, we'll do our log mission. Because we're pretty much done with this map now, so for, except for fin finishing the logging itself. So let's go ahead and get this done. And I'm going to bring the fuel truck over here and fuel this up and any other trucks that I can get up here. But I don't think we really need to do much more. So uh, We might use the B66 as a, um, as a fueling truck. Let's go ahead and fix this guy up. Uh, advanced. There we go. Am I, oh, I'm in park. That's why. Um, and so we can finish up the the map and move on to the next one. So we play Mud Mud Runner. Whoops. Okay, hang on. All wheel drive. Oh, I guess you can't really. All wheel drive is not going to help me go through a tree. I turned too soon. Yes, this is the bog map. I think it used to be known as Plains uh, in spin in the old version of Spin Tires. So it's the same map, but they moved some stuff around. But I think it used to be called Plains. Now they call it Bog. And they've added some boggy areas to it. They've definitely changed the map. It's not the same as it used to be. But it's also still not an original map. It's the same. Some of these areas I'm very familiar with. There's a log truck right there. forgot about that one. Fix this up. Oh! Oops. <laughs> uh, I pushed the clutch and not the brake. Okay, so this one I can't fix all the way, but it's only got 34 damage left, so not too bad. And put this truck in reverse. And get out of here. Man, what a load of fun. I love this game. So this truck is now completely useless, except for maybe like towing out of bad situations, but we're going to pull it up here. Get it out of the way of the trucks. I'm just going to pull it up here into the woods. So
So let's, real quick before we go to bed, let's see the condition of the different trucks and see what they got. Um, I'm going to shut this guy off. So we're going to go to the map. Yeah, Island is the old volcano map, right. So I'm just, I'm hoping to see some new map stuff, but I don't know. That's the only bump, that's the only thing I'm bummed about. I'm not really super bummed about it, but I am a little disappointed that they didn't bother. This thing's like almost out of gas. That's useless. We're going to have to get that filled up. How about uh, the K700 doesn't really need too much gas because we're just going to be using it locally. But it's got none, right? No, it's got very little. Um, C230, what condition are we in here? We have 160 fuel. That's enough to get up. So if I... Oh, this one doesn't have much log space, though. So actually, forget it. We're, what about this guy? Oh, that's my Jeep. Uh, B66 could be a fuel tanker. Um, he said, yeah. Um, we've got the B131 up here with gas. Let's see where our objective is. Our objective is over here. We have two log kiosks, this one here where the truck already is, and the K700, and then we have this one. So my thought is um, to bring this fuel truck over to here, fuel both of these trucks up, okay? Then we're going to take, we're going to load this guy up and uh, take logs to the mill and then come back up here. We're going to drive the K700 over and meet him over here and deliver the logs back down here again. But they're so far away. Um, I might take the B66. In fact, you know what? Before I go to bed, man. No, I need to go to bed. Um, I think we'll take that B66. Um, and we're going to put, uh, we're going to put a gas tank on it and fuel up. It will make it here at the, uh, the lumber mill so that there's a fuel point. So I'm going to turn this into a fuel truck. Actually, it has, let's see, it has 374. It actually has some fuel in it. Um, but I think we can do that here. So, um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I, we'll, maybe we'll just keep that on there because this, this guy's already got fuel in there. So we might just keep that as it is. And uh, it's in good shape. So I, we might just drive. This truck doesn't take much fuel to run either. So, uh, yeah, Feared Fox, you might be one of the ones. Uh, I, I think it's going to be me, Micah, uh, B-Dog. And if you want to join tomorrow night, maybe we'll do that um, so we can all play together. But Wow. This was a lot of fun, guys. I'm super excited about this game. Uh, once again, it is still spin tires. I mean, it's the same game. I know <laughs> people are like, I think people are imagining things differently. Like, oh, the graphics are so much better. And I'm like, well, no, the graphics are the same. Um, and I probably should give a final opinion on here because the people are going to be watching on YouTube, too, before we go for the night. Uh, but there's some new trucks. They definitely move the maps around. I like the randomized truck thing. So you never, each time you play a map, you don't know where your trucks are going to be or what condition they're going to be in. And I really like that. That's a great idea. Um, I love the in-the-cab view. I think that's a, a perfect addition to the game. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that's changed. It's been three years since we paid, or more, maybe five years. Let me think about this. It's been at least three years since the original Spin Tires came out. So the fact that we got to pay 15 bucks to get a new copy of it with more stuff in it, dude, that's not bad at all. If you're buying the game for the first time, then okay, it's a little bit more expensive, but you never played it before, so it's worth getting. Um, so I, I think this is a win-win situation. This is a great game. I have always been a huge proponent of spin tires. I love the game. Um, I, I used to play, like I said, I have 600 hours of it in in my, uh, if you look on my Steam account on the original spin tires, I have like 550 or 600 hours or more in the original spin tires. So I absolutely love this game. It's a great logging simulator. It's a lot of fun playing around in the mud, and they've just made it better. So it's definitely worth it. So anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, thank you so much for watching the stream. I'm super, I wish I could have gotten an early access to this like everybody else did, but whatever. Life will go on. Uh, I'm not bitter. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, obviously subscriptions always help. Uh, and uh, I, uh, if you want to donate, uh, there's a donate button on Twitch a little bit below. Uh, that helps keep the channel going, helps me buy hardware, helps me keep the software running. Uh, and then you can also donate if you're on YouTube. There will be a link in the description. See you next time, guys. Have a great night.